and doing it. The League of Blades way. Hey, no, what is today's date? November the 7th, 2022, and we are live here in Boomtown Theater with what is being said, what is being told, what is going around in the horror community. The scariest game currently on the internet now. That's what is on the broadcast for you folks as you're coming in by way of Blade Mobile, as you're coming in by way of Eagle of Justice, as you're getting your boomsticks, as you're getting your axes, as you're putting on your flannels of protection, as you're spraying yourself down with holy water so that you're always shining and glowing at every single angle that you turn. Because man, looking cool is what being a hero is all about. We have got a good one for you here today on this motivated edition of the Scotty Blade Show. You better say hi if you're out there in the audience. You better spread the love. You better spread the hero work. You better put on a show for the world. Share the broadcast far and wide. Somebody out there needs a bright light. Why? Because it's Monday. We're getting our week started the evil slaying way. Woo! Stars and super chats. Shoo, buddy. Shoo, buddy. Shoo, buddy. Both live on Facebook and YouTube for your viewing evil slaying pleasure. Man, that breakdown right there reminds me of like an 80s sitcom, and I love it. I love it. How you guys doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Missed you yesterday. I always take uh, Sundays off to recuperate and sit out in the mountains and meditate with all the bears and grizzlies and bumblebees and wolves and foxes. The foxes, the foxes. Don't tell Igor, but you're my favorite. (laughs) Well, a lot of our community overlaps. A lot of our community overlaps, and I love it. I love it. Stars and Super Chats go such a long way in making the production value here at Blades HQ that much better. We've got Stars and Super Chats rolling in. People out there in the audience putting on a show of their own. Nicole with the 50 stars. Jolie with the 99. Nicole with 50 times 2. Lucas Orn. No, wait a second. That's last stream. Daniel Mahoney, the first stars of the show. Let me let's, let me uh, let me just turn on the soundtrack to the game. Y'all want to hear a beat? The freaking music to this game. Now, folks, if you have been around the Scotty Blade show. For the last three years, we bring you the most up-to-date Evil Slaying Horror content that we can. This game just came out, and it's from a group called Eureka. I, nope, it's not called Eureka Games. I don't remember what they're called. That's not important. What's important is, is that if you saw the game... Good evening, Scotty. Good evening. Best start reading early. If, you, uh, if you've ever seen the game Summer of 58 that we played here on the channel where you're in that Russian orphanage. We're talking high definition, 4K, HK, Blu-ray, DVD-R, all the graphics, man. These go, uh, Eureka, something like that, Eureka Games, they made this, they made Find Yourself, a couple of the scariest games I have ever heard before, ever heard. Ever heard. A couple of the scariest games I've ever heard before, a couple of the scariest games I've ever seen before here on the channel. So this one is also supposed to be really scary. So I'm excited to jump right into it. Yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. All the heroes out there in the audience are ready for an adventure, I see the thumbs up. Paul McGinnis opening the Necronomicon with the 667. I am gonna turn off the chat bot for the sake of getting into the ambience of the game for the, uh, there's a word for it. There's an I word, integration. It's a Monday. Don't make me think. What's up? Uh, what's going on, Kelly? What's up, Ted? Hello, Charlie? Man, far as the eye can see, Blade Mobiles and Eagles of Justice coming in. As you're coming through the door to Boomtown Theater, I got a Dax standing there. There's your boomstick. There's your axe. There's your blood-covered flannel of justice. Schwap, 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 schwap. Kelly, Trulillo. What's up, Gage? Who was in the audience that I missed saying hi? Immersion. 
Immersion, Cody. You're the smartest of all of us. Immersion. Finger bangs all around. Immersion. 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 All right. Let's get it started. New game. Father's Day. Brand new horror content. And today's a double feature because after I do this game, you don't want to leave after I beat this game. This game's about three hours. Once I beat this game, I'll be playing Tekken 1 with Resident Evil skins. And I will be beating the game using only WASDA. I will not move my character. I will only push WASD on the keyboard. And I will beat Tekken 1 with Resident Evil skinned characters. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Today's going to be a really good day. Scotty Fazoom Blades. Fazoom. That's the new war cry of the League of Blades. Fazoom! Can I get some Fazooms in the chat? Fazoom! We got a Fazoom in on evil today. Gilbert LaBoy, Gage Faulkner, Kevin Peterson, Betty Justice. Can you feel the energy here in the audience today? Kelly, thanks for the 50. Kevin Peterson with the 150. I did miss you. I did miss you. And Ray Wilson. The 1225 as they raised their boomstick on high. Holy freaking moly. Thank you so very much for the 1225 Fazoom. <laughs> Can I get some Fazoom in the chat? Fazoom. <laughs> this is the kind of energy we need to get the week started off the right way. Thank you all so much for the stars, the super chats. Let's get a dad joke in real quick before we start the show. Dad. Steven Siegel. Whoops, that's me. Uh. Steven Siegel. Welcome to the stage, and it's time for you to give one of your famous dad jokes that everybody just loves. Get your tomatoes ready, chat. And here we go. First dad joke of the day. Coming in from Steven Siegel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mountains aren't just funny. They're hill areas. <laughs> Jordan Cooper. <laughs> God, you suck, Steven Siegel. Get out of here, Steven. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you so much, Chris Lock, for the first super chat of the day with the $5 super chat. Hey, everybody. Hey, Laura. That was actually a pretty good joke. That was a pretty good dad joke. That wasn't bad. People, what do you say? Is it showtime? What do you think, chat? Is it show time? Is it time for us to slay the evil away? I think so. Let's get into Father's Day. Fresh cup of hero fuel. Let's go. Man, I really hope I don't get copyright struck for that song that was in the menu. Ah, who cares? That was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't good. There's that weird Latin word, loadding. I have no idea what that word means. Loadding. Timothy Jones, Laura A. Ross, Misery, Amanda, Woody Coon, Tatiana, Alex Velez, Jared Johnson, Game Hive. Welcome to your Scotty Blade show. Welcome to your Evil Slain Entertainment. And welcome to the most fun show on the internet because we make it so. Hey, Christina. Oh, I can move. I was like, what's going on? Hills areas. Slay the day. What's up, Misty? Betty Justice offering up a bone in this bone-chilling adventure we're going on. Thank you so very much, Betty, for the $4 super chat. And I owe you guys two doses of vitamins. Hero Fuel and Vitamins makes the hero super wet and moist so we can slip out of backdoor bear hugs from evil. It's showtime! I actually ate my cat's food today. Well, that ain't a joke. Lucas, thank you for the 250. Alex Velez. Hey, Andrea Perez. How you doing, sweet pea? Jeremy Clark, thank you for the light. Garrett Faulkner, Misty Dawn, Shane, Betty Justice with the $4 super chat. Alex Velez with the $250. Paul McGinnis, a gust of granny. Man, we're going to have fun today. Get out of here, granny. I'm in the middle of something. Is this live? Nah, it's a replay. Go on. Go, come on, Granny. <laughs> All right. The scene is set. Hey, Catherine. Hello, Alan Sears. 
Hello, Michelle. The scene is set. We're in a field. A glossy, crazy looking field. And, and far off in the distance, a red door. 50-50 chance I'm either going to get laid or get laid out inside of this house. I like my chances. I like getting both kinds of laid. I like to get laid and laid out. Did that door just shut? Any day is better with a gust of granny. <laughs> ah, you shit monkeys. <sighs> what makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? You know it's going to be a good game when the title screen scares you to death. Stupid game. Hey, Tracy Allen. Stupid game. Parental home, first date, family picnic, going to the city fair with a child. These are all warm memories, but only if you are happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again, but you can't. Man, that's some deep crap. Aw, oh, man. Anxiety only occurs because of uh, anticipation of a bad event coming in the future. Depression occurs from thinking of things that happened in the past. You gotta be in the moment. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world? I mean, I did go back in time and step on that mosquito, and that's why the dinosaurs are extinct. Phil. Oh, I guess my name's Phil. You have to. A gust of granny farts. Janelle Muse, Nick Arsenal, Charles Meisner. Let me take a second to shout out all the heroes who have liked the stream and answered the call to justice. Janelle, Blake, Nick, Charles Meisner, Christina Sears, Andrea Perez, Parker Carroll, Alan Sears. Did I already say you once? Well, I'll say you twice. Three times a lady. Julian White, Joshua, truest of all the bits. Act one. The past cannot be changed. Free the future. You missed my joke. Loden is Latin for buffering, which is French for please wait. I'm sorry to hear that, Catherine. Wait, Hopefully, all I can all I can do I, I what are you doing in this? I try to stay as positive as I can when I have to process stuff like that on on the show. It's hard for me to stay in a in a good mood. I am so sorry that happened. I'm going to do everything I can for me to stay positive to bring a positive influence to you. I am so sorry that happened. Let me take a second and try to get happy again because of course that's going to make me sad and it's my job to make everybody happy. So give me just a second. Eric Pava, Eric Comstock, and Michael Mays. Thank you for the like. And Chris Locke with the $20 super chat. Waking up with Scotty Blades in my cup. What are you doing in there? I, I mean, did I stick my balls in your... <laughs> <laughs> there's tea bag and, and then there's waking up with Scotty Blades in your cup. Finger bangs and fazooms all around for Chris Locke with the $20 super chat. And thank you to everybody for uh, all the stars and the super chats uh, coming in here today to help support the show. You're not in the wrong. It's just hard for somebody that cares for somebody to process that live in front of a bunch of people. But I'm going to, and we're going to get through this together because I love you, and that's what matters. Because I don't like hearing you guys having bad news. Of course I don't like hearing that you all, we're family. And of course I don't like to hear you all having bad news. Just like I don't tell you guys about my bad news, and it's not because I want to hide it, it's simply because I'm trying to keep things as positive as we can because, trust me, all of our lives have a lot of suck in it. Living today sucks. There's a lot of suck going on. But when we open the portal and we ride our blade mobiles and we ride our Eagles of Justice into Boomtown Theater, man, we got each other. That's all you can have. And we're going to laugh and smile and cut up and slay and play. And then when the show goes off, we'll go back to doing <laughs> that shit <laughs> because it's out there. But folks, here's the time. Here's the place. Let's have some fun. I love you big times. Deanna, Matthew, Michael, Eric, Michael, Janae. De hey, what's up, Deanna? And I saw Emma Bregger joining us. Welcome, welcome. All right, I am here to smother you in all of my love. Come get a big Papa Bear hug. Come here, come here. You know, I don't work out to have 22-inch biceps. Hey, Emma, I don't work out to have 22-inch biceps to look good naked. But trust me, I look good naked. There's no doubt about it. I look great naked. What's important is, is I work out really hard to have 22-inch biceps so that I can give you guys the best bear hug you've ever had. 
I've done some stuff in this bathroom. I have done some stuff in this bathroom. I'm, uh, I, oh, this is just like, yeah, so the game starts, hey, Django, the game starts off very much like P.T. Ooh, I mean, this looks right, right out of, ooh. You may come to my house, you may come to Scotty Blaze's domicile one day and notice that Scotty has a lot of books. Do you know why Scotty Blades has a lot of books? Do you know what makes great kindling in a fire? Books. <laughs> books make great... The door's an Audi. Ow! That's just like my closet. I cannot tell you, my laundry room has got clothes stacked up to the ceiling. I never hang up anything, but I'm also a man. And I'm real dumb. <gasps> Flashlight? Yes! I mean, that's a weird... Oh, the titty light. <clears throat> Nothing quite like the titty light. Grab it. Papa Bear hugged a stone pillar and it turned into a gravel pit. Sometimes I just love too hard, Rob. I look good naked bushes outside of his house of binoculars. Travis Katura, welcome. Django and Bridget McCurry Cox have answered the call to justice. Chris Locke, once again, thank you so very much for the 20 dollar super... This is it? This is my apartment? Hello, Mel. The this is my apartment. There we go. Yep, we are absolutely your family. And we love you big time. My apartment sucks. Oh, I didn't completely explore it. Stupid. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that door was not open when I came through here earlier. Am I right? The door. That door wasn't open. Time, there is no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. What project? What project? Stupid apartment? What kind of, ah. Oh. oh my God. Is this time machine detector going to be 13,000 gigawatts? I have spent several years developing a time machine. I am almost close to completion. If you could go back to any period of time. Hey, what's up, Michelle? Any period of human existence. What time would you go back to? Would you go back to the Roman times, the Greek times, the Viking times, which are all kind of the same times, but you know what I'm saying. Their, their, their era where they were kind of the big cultural deal. Would you go back to the caveman times? Would you go all the way back to when the dinosaurs were running around? Would you go back to the 1940s? Would you go back to the wild, wild west? I would go back to the Egyptian pyramid times. I would like to watch the pyramids get constructed. That's the one thing I'd like to do. My computer's got a lot of graphs on it. Gotta have them graphs. The Roman times, because they had massive orgies. Oh my god. <laughs> time to go back in time. You go back to the Wild West? Look at y'all. Uh, look y'all, a sex machine. <laughs> This is the most advanced sex machine I've ever seen. Sex machine. Ever seen. Um. Well, the game didn't really... Do I get to take things? Sure. You know what? You get one thing to take. What's up, Ollie? I guess we'll just leave because the game didn't give me an option to do anything else. Come in, I'm decent. <laughs> Papa always comes prepared. Come in, I'm decent. Nineteen ninety? Man, the nineties were great. Can I check the peephole first? Oh, it's just my door dash. <laughs> You go back to the 20s in Chicago and make the bathtub gin. Woo! Armando Jimenez, Kendra Fletcher, Jaden Thomas, Amber Lynn, and just a few of the folks have answered the call. Welcome. My DoorDash is here. Good thing I didn't punch him upside the head with my axe. What's up, Jennifer? Yoink. I have my box. Somebody dropped a can. Wonder what I ordered. 
Oh, that's the name of the people that made this game. I said Eureka. It's Emika. I thought I said Eureka. That number will immediately go down. Anytime that you post how many viewers there is, for some reason, the almighty blue is like, watch this, and they bounce like 50 people. That's why I've got it cut off, because it's not me. It's the stupid platform. Egyptian Emotep. <laughs> the doorbell rings. Hello? Let's take my secret package down to my secret basement and find out what secrets I have inside my secret. Hey, okay. Oh, a Fousey! Fousey go in... Contraption? Fousey, there we go. Doorbell rings, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. There we go. Flip the switch. It is not time to flip the switch. I wish I had a list. What's in the box? It looks like... Um... <gasps> Secrets. Sam Kennedy, Zach Buck, Brian Pennington, Bex Shepard, so many Amazon packages. Kyle Mott, Adam Young, and Sam Kennedy have answered the call to justice and joined us here in Boomtown Theater. Welcome, folks. Do we go through the blue hazy portal of death? Of death? Of, of death? Do we do it? What do you think, chat? Do we go through it? Time for some audience participation. What does Blade Chat think? If I could be Japanese, I would have lived in feudal times. I mean, you could still go back there. You don't have to be Japanese. If only I was a kaiju, I would kick King Kong in the nuts. Hey, Kyle. Go through it. That's what sucked up Sirius Black. The portal of justice. It may be. Go through it. Go through it. Sounds like we're doing it. One for the money, two for the show, three for all the money. I don't have to pay them hoes. Here we go. Whoa. Do the thing, I will, Emma. I'll do the thing just for you. I did the... Is this Mortuary's assistant? Looks like I found the first person I'm going to hit the ejector button on out there in the audience. <laughs> This, that needs to be a freaking sticker for the supporters to spam. Is this mortuary assistant? Go through dong first. What if it's what if it's a laser trap? What if it cuts my dong off? I've only got three inches to work with. Um. Okay, everything looks the same except my computers aren't on. Did y'all hear that jibber jabbering going on in the background? Whispering sweet nothings in your ear. It's free real estate. I'm going to kill you. Open. 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 Ah! I can feel the phantom pain in my back of getting stabbed. I actually feel it. Stupid Necronomicon, but thank you for the Necronomicon effect. Alright, um... The door is locked, so I'm guessing we need some kind of... There's a book that looks like the Necronomicon. What's that guy's name? He's, uh, he's a demon, but he's, like, supposed to be Satan. He's, like, his name's Beelzebub or something like that? What's his name? It's not, it's not actually Beelzebub, but Bahamut? Vamped. Uh, 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 uh. We need a Scotty Blades clothing line. I'm working on it. Well, the game didn't kill me, but I did. <laughs> That's why it's important to read your hero's handbook. Because having to do electrical work, is it, it's not a Noombus. It's not Beetlejuice. I don't know if it's Bezelbub or not. Is it Bezelbub? It might be Bezelbub. Honey, I electrocuted myself again. The Scotty Morana show. Bahamut is the dragon in D&D. A Zuzu. It, it's something like that distant. It's like Baphomet. Mestifestiles? No, it's not Mephesto. 
That was Act 1. Nothing happened. Act 2, they thought it was safer inside my butt. Here's Henry. Go ahead, voices in my head. Henry, look around this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need leads. Okay, I must be a cop. Bless you. I didn't sneeze, but thank you. Accepted. Mission accepted. All cops are robots. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Is it Baphomet? Okay, it must be Baphomet. What's up, Kayla Rose? Baphomet. Fuck, I forgot my flashlight. Oh, I was wondering how the light was getting illuminated. I am a cop. You know what's cool, but also slightly concerning? How much you guys know about demons? <laughs> I respect the hell out of you for knowing about it. Bahamut, okay. Asmodeus. No, it's not Asmodeus. Patsy Dunn, Trent Bruski, Stephen Gill, Greg Samuels, and Greg Zabukovic have answered the call to justice and joined us. As you're all coming into Boomtown Theater, we are playing what is considered to be, what is now being called the scariest game on the internet. This game is called Father's Day. You're going to need this. There's your Axe of Justice. There's your Boomsticks. I would give you a flannel of mine, but I'm only wearing one. Of course, if you want to see me take it off, I'll do it for you if you're a lady. <laughs> I have rules! Do you like donuts? Uh, yeah, they're all right. I'm not a big sweets guy. If I eat sweets, I like cheesecake. If I eat sweets, know thy enemy. I love it. That's why we have a monster manual. Lord Voldemort. No! Pumpkins, $2. Matthew Bonesaw Hackman taking the stage and... I see, I saw, I saw those eyes. Nope. I saw them eyes. No, I saw them. I saw those eyes. Oh, that's a radio. This, the, the police! Open the... Knock, knock, knock. The police. I am the police. I think we can all agree Mountain Dew is righteous. I don't know if Mountain Dew is righteous, but it gives me a lot of uh, kidney stones, and I do speak in tongues when I am passing a kidney stone out of my, I almost said pussy. I got some cake for you. Arr. What's up, Jack Blood? How you doing? Mmm, all right. I'm going to grab his flashlight that was nice to be hanging right here on the front door for me. What's up, Tim Harrod? Open door. Open door. America. Land of the free and home of the whopper. Hey, Trent. So this looks like most of my neighbors. What the hell is that? Who is that? Do you guys see the outline of a person? Oh, I think it's a statue. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say this looks like most of the houses in my neighborhood where I live here in the Appalachian Mountains. Except, you know, there's a giant amusement park across the road. I'm doing good, Houston. How are you? Is this game scary? Incredibly scary. This is from the same folks who made Summer of 58, one of the scariest games we ever played on this channel. Supposedly the first half of this game is incredible, the second half is just kind of whatever. Rule number 22 in the Hero's Handbook. Always use the back door. So let's try it. I did it. Open the door. This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one has lived here for a long time. If it's abandoned, why does it have electricity? Okay, take a look around, said the dispatcher. If the place is abandoned, why does it have electricity? Normal abandoned house. Nothing crazy going on here. Two or three meth labs. Complete. What's up, no talent? That Saul, welcome to the show. Folks. 
I believe we have identified one of the five pillars of fear. And we now know that we are officially in a haunted video game experience. That's a mannequin. Better known as one of... The five pillars of fear. The five pillars of fear. Yep, mannequins. Always check the back door. Touch them? I can't. But, uh, nice. Did you guys know pumpkins are $2? Okay, we'll bang later. Ah, I I have a hotkey. If something scary happens today, I'm going to have to rely on you guys to make a bunch of clips. I've got a hotkey assigned to my streaming software. If I hit it, it'll clip something for me. Unfortunately, some of these games that run on a certain engine, it resets the chapter if you hit that button. So, whoops. But anyway, if you missed why the mannequins... See, the mannequins weren't here a second ago? Well, they'll be here in a second. You'll just have to see. I got my flashlight. Grab that one, use it. Got a new flashlight. Knock on the door. LaTroy, I am Nation. Thet Zal. Welcome to the League of Blades and Nick McIntosh. Thanks for the like. This is a normal abandoned house. <laughs> Whoops. Every abandoned house has recycling <laughs> trash cans outside of it and a large barrel of explosive material and a weed patch. You get the stickiest of the ickiest from the old folks, the old Appalachian mountain men. They make good moonshine and even better weed. Hey, Marlo. You've never smoked a joint like you've smoked a joint from an old hippie that lives up in the mountains. They love that stuff and hug on it and caress it and pet it and talk to it and name it. Were you poking the pit of fear? <laughs> yes, I was poking the pit of fear. Everybody's going green nowadays. When you look in the Hero's Handbook under the Monster Compendium, you'll see under Demon, there's an ad slit we put into it. Demons have also went green. They have, uh, they're modern now. Let me go around front, activate the mannequins. What's up, AJ? Game time, show time. Let's slay and play, baby. All right, there's the mannequins. Let me try the front door again. God, I love their stairwell. Is surrounded by tires. Nothing says redneck quite like old tires that attract mosquitoes. <laughs> Look at all those blade masters and supporters in the chat. That's right. One of the cool features you get by being a supporter of the Scotty Blade Show is you get your message highlighted in green. We are currently working on getting supporters on YouTube, but uh, there's a glitch in the system, but we're working on it. You missed that ex Mary Jane? Yeah. Let me try this. That didn't work. Good evening, Carl. I hope my guy's got a gun. Well, he ain't got a pecker or shoes, so that's that. But I hope that my guy's got a gun. Outhouse is boarded up because somebody took a fat shit so big that it come to life. I can't. I can't. You guys know how afraid of mannequins I am. They're not natural. Nothing scares me like mannequins. I, they don't have a soul. They shouldn't be moving. That means somebody else is pulling the strings behind the scenes, some kind of supernatural force. I heard a bush break, and I look to my left, and there's a bush doll, bush mannequin, bush, bush, bush. How did you get through the Rose DLC? One bearded masculine step at a time, Mike. And I had the League of Blades behind me. That helped a lot. Mannequins are hot. <laughs> Shit becomes in you. Alright, well, there's the lowercase t, the Holy Bribal, and possibly the Necronomicon. Somebody give me a red nine so I can shoot this pond and have a giant fish jump out and eat me. Nice Resident Evil 4 cut back there, Scotty. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
There's the Scotty Blades family. There's the voodoo doll. There's that demon again. Bath of fat. Says here, the last thing I can do is ask for your help. Help me get them back. RE4 is best. When I first played RE4, I didn't like it as much as the other Resident Evils. The more I play it, the more I like it. The RE4 is fantastic. I like the RE4 has grown on me a lot. Unlike Village. It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me, but not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix everything. So I'll summon a demon from the pits of Azul. <laughs> That'll fix everything. Demons always have the solutions. You know, I could try taking responsibility to myself or many other possibilities, but no, let me ask a demon for help, because demons always help. Can I grab this lowercase t? No, no. Can't grab the doll. Can't grab the vial of blood. I'm sad no one clipped your mannequin rant. I don't really call that a rant. What do you mean you're sad nobody clipped my mannequin rant? I don't think it's a rant. Come on! Come on! Do it! Do it now! Come on! It killed me! Kill me! Do it now! What are you waiting for? I'm right here! Do it! You all, you all right in there? You need some... You need some TP? You need some doo-doo paper? Doo-doo paper? Code Brown? Thomas C. Bell, welcome. Crap, Cody's speaking in Satan again. <laughs> the back door's open. We're just going to grab some more back up here. Nice little vial of holy water. Let's we'll see you. Holy symbol here. Just going to put that there. Right above my heart. There we go. The power of lowercase t compels you not to kill me, Damon. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We don't got it. We don't got it. We don't got it. Somebody's sitting upstairs. <laughs> Need to find a letter ladder. Okay. The second reason why I'm officially desecrating. I'm officially decreeing that this house is haunted. There's a giant moose head over in the corner. As we know from our friend and mentor, Ash Williams. Any house that has a deer head in it is haunted. But it is not playing What's the Matter with the Moon tonight, so maybe it's not haunted. That's from Excalibur. Oh, is it? <coughs> Sir. <coughs> I'm coming home to you, Grandma. Shit. Kate Parziali, welcome to the Scotty Blade Show. Happy Motivated Monday to everybody out there in Boomtown Theater. Thanks for stopping by here for your daily dose of horror and evil slain entertainment. Who's excited for God of War in two days? I, I thought it was tomorrow. A circus performance this Sunday. Happy Father's Day with a clown with two bloody spots on its... I'm waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, my uncle lived in the city. He had a deer head, and I swear the basement was haunted. Rick, in all transparency, my house is covered in deer heads. I'm a big hunter. So it's It don't mean nothing. Or my house is completely haunted. You don't like village? Is this mortuary assistant? Maybe your retirement party? Yes, I will retire after today's show. i got to find a ladder. Carl Mountney, Johnny McGill, welcome. Thanks for answering the call to justice. You pre-ordered G-O-W today? I cannot wait. we got to find a ladder. And John Tricky, thanks for keeping me on my toes. Aha. See, I'm redneck enough to know where all ladders are at. Found the ladder. But <laughs> it's very commonplace for every redneck to tie their ladder to their 
mobile home. Haunted houses, you say, calls Boomtown security. There's a haunted house I want y'all to check out pronto. Latroy, Boston. Yes, I do declare my name is Mayor Latroy Boston of Boomtown Slammer. Yes, I'm going to have security to check out that right now. I do declare. <laughs> All right, we got to find a ladder. Hey, Madison, how you doing, Sweet Pete? The ladder don't look safe. Well, maybe that's why it's tied to the Winnebago, because if anybody tries to climb this ladder, they'll kill themselves. Jesus, Jones and Bush... Mannequins. God, I hate them things. I hate them so much. Maybe I got into Grandpa's reefer patch. They did say get a ladder, right? Or not uh, get a ladder. It did say to burn the ladder. Or burn the ropes, anyway. Heinrich! Welcome to the show. There's no bush of peekaboo! Y'all keep your eyes peeled. For a lighter of some kind. Tis better motor here in Savannah, I do declare. Right, there's a fire pit. If I was a lighter, that's a whoa mannequin. <laughs> whoa mannequin! Peacock is making a Jason Voorhees series. Do you think the Necronomicon will show up? I do. I think so. I'm actually really excited. It is a good time. To be a horror fan. The next year is going to be a horror fan's what bloody dream. This is the kind of game where you kiss your cousin. She's out there in them trees. What's wrong, Billy? Nothing scares you. We're all gonna die. Hey Jennings, ever have anything creepy creep you out like the mannequins on a call when you're on the teams? Uh, no, actually that's interesting because a lot of the places that I worked in was up in the Appalachian Mountains. I, I never, in over a decade of seeing the craziest things in the world, I never had a supernatural occurrence while working in that capacity. It's actually a really good question. I never ever saw anything that made me go, how did that happen? Now, I had some miracles happen to me, and like how I'm still alive as many times I've been shot and stabbed. But I never saw anything that made me go, how did that happen? Stephanie Gooden. She's a Gooden. She's always ready to bang, and by God, so am I. Bang, bang. Finger bangs all around. Hello, Stephanie. Thanks for the 69 stars. There's a gas can. Oh, yeah, there is a gas can. Also, there's the pot of... Yuck from Resident Evil 7. That's why I love Resident Evil 7 so much. It's a fantastic horror game. Maybe not so much the Resident Evil we're used to, but it's a great horror game. You've seen enough? Now, I've seen stuff outside of my tactical, tactical career, but never in a decade, over a decade of tactical stuff did I ever see anything that made me go, how did that happen? All right, gas can. Where was the gas can at, Ashley? Gas can, gas can. Gas can, gas can. Man, I, I love indie horror games so much. This is a treat, man. This game, uh, I think, was $12.99 on Steam if you want to pick it up. But currently, Anika Games, I think is how you say it, they are doing a special where you can get all their games on bundle right now for super cheap. All right, I have a gasoline, but where's the lighter? Tabitha Weaver, welcome to the show. Stephanie Gooden, thank you very much for the 69 stars. I got a world to say, but by God, babe, when it's all said and done, mannequin's going to touch me in my bum bum. All right. I don't have an inventory, which is interesting. This game looks great. So far, so good. So far, I'm... It, honest to goodness, folks, when I read the reviews, this isn't just a clickbait, because I like to play scary games. This is a very scary game. Hey, the 
seance table is gone. Now there's just my patio furniture. Huh. This is being called one of the scariest games on the internet right now. It's supposed to be incredibly creepy. We gotta find a lighter. I'm taking you to the bank. The blood bank. Have you looked to the right of the ladder? Uh... I looked in some pizza. <laughs> oh, here we go. Matches. Ha ha! It takes... What's up, Fuwa? It takes... Listen, I'm blind as a freaking bat without these glasses. Where'd you guys go? But my eagle vision... This is my first rodeo. I'm a survivalist. I can rub my hands together so much, I'll produce nothing. Just weird smells. What's up, Donnie? Ah, the Scotty Blade Show. My favorite time of the day. Mine too. Mine too. Let's do that dad joke. A boomstick salute. A boomstick Welcome, salute Joel. to you, Scotty. Hey, a boomstick salute. Hero, recognize hero. And you're out there doing some hero work. A boomstick salute to you. Blade Master David Baker in the audience with the one thousand star power up thank you very much for the one did you check my homies in telegram did you check my homies in telegram what does that mean tracy the name of the game is called father's day hey joel oh the dad joke my bad i'm sorry everybody steven seagull how awesome is that synthwave music so you're saying that you're a man that can. I'm a man that can. Here we go. Steven Seagull, take the stage. Time for one of your awful dad jokes. Y'all get ready to throw your tomatoes. Oh my God. I don't play soccer because I enjoy the sport. I'm just doing it for kicks. <laughs> you suck, Steven. Get out of here. Squawk, squawk. You suck. You're from Brazil? I'm from the United States in the beautiful state of North Carolina. It's good to have you. Listen to how good this music is in the game. This is some Knight Rider Blade stuff right here. Mm. I love it. Yeah, that was a bad one. But you know what's not bad? The awesomeness of Chris Locke. With the $5 super chip. Get the flock out of here, Steven. Shoo, buddy. <laughs> Shoo, buddy. Get the flock out of here, Steven. Shoo, buddy. Rochelle Davis, welcome. Chris French and Damon Shoes. Kyle Simral with the two. 100 star power up. Welcome to the show, Kyle. I made fire. Stupid mannequin. Okay, I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. I've got the ladder. It left. Hey, Charles Burkett. Joel, thanks for the light. Slap them titties! Slap them titties! Bad mannequin. There was a mannequin in the woods. Shoe, buddy. Oh, there was a guy that dropped his Telegram link. Oh, yeah! He said, come check me out, homies. I remember now. Shoe, buddy. She got some bitties? <laughs> if you're going to misbehave, you get a titty slap. That's how it goes. All right. So, just to catch everybody up for a second, there's supposedly somebody up in this attic right here. That's why we needed the ladder, so let's go up. I'm a big, brave boy. I'm a big, brave boy. Big muscles, big beard. Big, brave boy. Fucking creepy place. That there... That image alone... Let me just get off the screen for a second. That image alone 
will be burnt into my cerebral cortex when I go to bed tonight. That is nightmare fuel. I wish I could fazoom closer. Fazoom! Fazoom! That's nightmare fuel right there. Who leaves that up there? Yoink. Let me read this piece of paper. I just got blown while I was reading. That's that's like yin and yang. I don't want to read, but if you'll blow me while I read, I'll read. The culprit in the accident on Highway 58 testified. I definitely saw that girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and a child could not get out of the car. Well, I don't like puzzles. That may be the most complicated sentence I have ever tried to read in broken English in my life, but I think a girl ran out in front of a car and the car was, the driver was intoxicated, but there was a woman and child in the car. The car crashed and... Hiya, Scotty. Hi, Blade hey. Buds. What's up, Chris? Chelsea Sisson. Oh. Steven Jagahog and Charles Burkett. Joseph Alexander Lafferty. Thanks for answering the call to justice. The doll moved? The house is clean. There's no evidence. Are you not going to mention the doll that moved? Henry, get back to base! Exclamation point. It's been a long shift. It's time for me to rest. <laughs> Beep boop boop. Cops just go back to the police department, sit down and get unplugged, powering down. There's a Luigi board. All right, well. I'm not going to mention a dispatch. You're harassing me on two different directions, Michelle. What's up, Jennifer? What's up, nerds? We love being nerds. Nerds are cool. We love the colonel. Stupid mannequin. That mannequin wants you to stop? Nobody tells Scotty Blades what to do. Titty slap! Of justice. The, bank. the blood bank. The mannequins keep misbehaving. Luigi boards are scary. Mamma mia! <laughs> Mama Mia. Alright, Steven Seagull, check this out. I'm gonna do a Steven Seagull joke with the, the background music playing. Dad joke to this music. What did the fish say when he hit the wall? Damn. She wanted a high five. Okay, okay. Let's give her a high five. <laughs> what did the fish say when it hit the wall? Damn. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Brian stole Chi Young, Nick Pawlowski, Michelle Wing Stickney. Welcome. So many Tatoes flying at us here. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> High five. Chris is being generous today. Thank you for dropping the mic. Thank you very much, Chris, for the second round of $5 Super Chats. And thank you to everybody who chose to spend time out of their day here helping Papa Blade slay evil and answering the call to justice. But uh, I'm going to need a lot of heroes with me because I'm outnumbered right now. That is what? Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty mannequins. That's not a mannequin. That's a my man. Ho there, traveler, stranger, and 
slick skin sweaty guy of the night see i'm scotty blades and i'm here to slay evil and things are going to go real bad for you if you're evil so you need to go ahead and just broadcast your intentions right now are you friend or are you foe Fifi foe for zoom i'm going to smack you in the head with my axe <laughs> Again, that's not inherently creepy. That's just how rednecks walk here in the Appalachian Mountains. I've seen that a bajillion times. That's no big deal. You're dealing with the world's biggest redneck. I don't care. But the seance table is back. Is that you, Cthulhu? Are you trying to communicate with me? Willem Dafoe? Willem to foe, Willem to friend. Enjoy your day, Scotty B. Take care, David. Love you, buddy. Have a good day at work. Spread some good. Turn us on in the background. Nobody's watching. Or tell your friends to watch and we'll recruit more heroes to the League of Blades. All right. There's definitely something whispering out there on the lake. I'm going to say it again, Scotty, but for mannequins that give you the shits, play Condemned. I think we've played Condemned, Bex. I think. I think we've played Condemned. Penny Thomas and Thad Boatwright and Jessica Michelle have arrived here to Boomtown Theater and answer the call to justice. Welcome. Let's conduct this seance. Do I even say seance, redneck? Seance. How are you supposed to say se -oo? Seance. Seance. I am so self-conscious about how I talk now. Hey, Davis. I think I found something. As I proclaim to nobody in particular. I think I just got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Police Sergeant Henry Anderson. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park, but during the operation, he stops contacting. My finger points. Own it. Seance. Own it. CNs. <laughs> Davis Morgan, Penny Thomas, and Thad Boatwright. Welcome. The Demon Lord of Greed is Maman. Oh. Act three. Your nightmare is reality. It's free real estate. My mind and all the hot chicks out in the audience. My mind. That's why another reason why I love horror. Everybody that loves horror is hot. And I'm a vampire. Okay. We're in Act 3. I am back in my god-awful apartment with my depressing bathtub and my one nasty candle and my work clothes that I leave. Reality, reality is a nightmare! This is where I take off all my makeup after every day at work to hide my real face because I am vampire. Payman? Johnny Erickson, Melissa Ung, and Jackie Sherwood. Welcome to the theater, and thanks for answering the call to justice. Meow, meow, meow. We're definitely dealing with demons here, 100%. The time is 3.27. <laughs> hey! There's Grandma Peckerlips. She's in every horror game. Grandma Peckerlips, how are you doing? I can for Zoom. F Zooms. For Zoom. Man, Grandma Peckerlips has seen better days. Flashlight. Is this PT? Are they, so, it does specifically say in the description, Ted, heavily inspired by PT. The game starts in a PT style environment and then eventually uh, blossoms into its own game. So it does mention that. Zoom! My back door is wide open. Zoom! Hop, hop, blaze been a hot minute. Where you been, Jackie? We've missed you. Welcome back. I'm glad the blaze signal pierced through all the veils of mist. And reach the coolest of the coolest, Jackie Sherwood. 
A lot of missing child notes right outside my apartment door. That's really weird. You're walking through your apartment complex. That one guy's got like 20 missing child posters beside his front door. Hey, Vix. Emma hasn't sorted her mail yet. I need to replace the envelopes. Hey, Emma Bregger. We get on top of the... Is that a severed hand? I said calmly. Calmly. I said calmly. Emma has not sorted her mail yet. That is a severed hand laying at the foot of her door. Eh, whatever. Your back door is wide open. Yeah, right there. See? Chicks dig accents. Well, little lady, I got a horse out here in my backyard. You're welcome to saddle up on that thing and we'll ride off into the sunset. Maybe find a nice creek to hang out by. 62 degree weather is the perfect weather to lay under the stars as I tell you stories of stuff you don't care about and I'll probably do some kind of weird annoying habit that makes you start to dislike me the more as the night goes on to the point where no matter how attractive I am naked there's just no chance <laughs> accents I don't talk like that accents I locked I need a key did I hear an accent can't quite place it Zoom. Thank you, Emma. I'm glad. Just just clean up that severed hand right outside the door. 5111 backwards. You're not supposed to keep your severed hands outside your door, huh? -uh. I don't say... I'm from the... Mountains! Help! <laughs> it's just an accent! <laughs> he might be redneck if you watch Sky play. It must be bad today or you guys just never mention it much. Reckon I'll have me some French fried potatoes. William Miner, welcome to the show. Kate Marriott, John Bradkey, James Daniel Massey, welcome. I need a hand here. There you go. Chop it right off. I can finally get that chainsaw hand that I've always wanted. Better go move that hand. That's where you leave them. Leave Grandma Thin Lips out of this. Old Grandma Pecker Lips. Uh. Toodaloo, thought bots. Yeah, toodaloo. Hey, Vix. I noticed all my hangers are missing in my closet. Look at this cool leather couch that looks like it would be freezing to step on or to sit on. Hey, Vez, how you doing, Sweet Pea? Happy Motivated Monday. Welcome to Boomtown Theater. Why do I have so many TVs? Must be stimulated from every direction. Sitting on leather couch. Stimulated from the front. Stimulated from behind. Ultimate stimulation from everywhere. VHS. The ultimate TV better picture. <laughs> the ultimate form of entertainment. The VHS. Video honorary succotash. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's blood on my outfit. Oh. Or did it change color since the last time I was in here? The pictures? Oh, the pictures. The pictures are all backwards. I didn't notice that. The pictures are all backwards. Well, at least my couches are still there. Mannequin stimulation. Let's see if we can leave. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Better people, better picture to Papa John's. Oh, 
We're going to ring this doorbell, and then we're going to ring her devil's doorbell. <laughs> Time to slay. Get out of my house! Well, what is she doing? I don't know, but... All I did was ding the doorbell and she told me to get out of her house, which I'm not actually in her house, but whatever. Tis, tis just the wind! Jack Brill from Thrill Brill Gaming here in the audience with us. Thanks for answering the call. Vix Valentine. Jeez, Papa, she needs a minute. Please! I'm exhausted and dehydrated. Just give me two minutes and I'll answer the door. Oh, baby, I can wait all night. Falls asleep immediately. Well, I dung the doorbell and nothing happened, so let's just wander around my creepy apartment for a second so the game can auto-generate a jump scare. That door's still locked. Better picture, better people, da papa blades. Ring the bell again, oakley dokley. It won't let me. Uh, let's see. Was that candle, the bigger candle always there? I don't know. Oh yeah, we needed a key for the box. That's right. Can I slip her a love note? Alright. I uh, can't go in there. I can't ding the doorbell again. I can't read none of this stuff. Can't leave. I can't ding. Oh, I can ding my own bell. Ding my bell! Ding my bell! You got a key for that box, Michael? Me too, buddy. I got a key for all the boxes. Boom! <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, babe, you can just keep on panting heavy in the background. I'm on my way. Oh, wait. Make sure I'm still a vampire. Uh, vampire confirmed. Who's panting? Some chick behind the door that yelled for me to go away. Jiggle, jiggle. Oh, that was open. Okay. Um. Oh, is this a tape I can watch? Can I watch these tapes? Can't watch that tape. Can't grab that tape. Let's try this back door again. Better TVs! Better couches! The pop up blades. That's where all my cocaine went. What's that say? I don't know. Well, guess I'll just wander back or maybe try to grab this or touch that stuff. Nothing going on there. That's cool. Can't touch none of the pictures. That's cool. Can't touch any of that. Can't touch that. Can't touch that. That's fine. I dang my bell. Nothing happened. She's still panting like a maniac. I wonder if there's something I need to interact with out here. Handle. Knife. Your brother, Jan! Okay. Emma, I'm so sorry. I want to help you find BJ. But I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon, your neighbor Phil. But it said on the note, your brother Jonathan. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I wrote her a letter just now. Hey, Tiffany. We just wrote a letter. We just wrote a letter. We just wrote a letter. There's a severed hand. The zoom! Peek through the eye hole? I can't. Carl, you do know how peek holes work, right? 
They're one way. You can't see. The Game Vacuum, welcome to the show. Robin France, Andres, Tori, Irvin have all answered the call of justice and joined us here in Boomtown Theater. Welcome. Hope you guys brought some uh, boomsticks and firepower because we got ourselves a spooky one. Good luck being hot. All right, I wrote my neighbor a letter. My bathroom <laughs> disappeared. What the heck? Stupid apartment. I pay too much money for this stupid apartment to keep disappearing. Do you remember Kazoo from the Flintstones? I can play a Kazoo. Could be one of those Aaron Andrews special peepholes. My God, she's wow. Hey, Carrie, what's up? I forgot all about Aaron Andrews. Hey, Jessica. Well, there's a large muscular demon around the corner. And around this corner is an enemy. See what I did there? I'm the large muscular demon. <laughs> Except I'm not demon. Peter Craig Karis Dave, thanks for the like. All right. He's waiting to get me, but he's backlighted himself. That's his tactical mistake, not mine. I do this in honor of you, Grandma Pecker Lips. Here we go. Surprise, cockbag! I'm Scotty Blades. Whoa. It did look like Daredevil. My whole house has changed. My second TV! My second TV! This game is uh, a game called Father's Day. It just came out. And you can pick this up on Steam for like $12.99. But you can pick up all their games right now on package deal. But it's called Father's Day, twelve ninety nine. Guy's got a real cockroach problem. We played these guys' games before in the past. The game's called Locked Up. And Summer of Fifty Eight, and they've both been very scary. And this one's been pretty scary too. There's a close up of Grandma Peck. Who blew me? Demon baby! Naked! Oh no! The gerbils that went inside of the blade computer! That's creepy. Nice zoom in on Grandma Pecker lips there. That's good. Somebody playing a kazoo? <laughs> I don't think you know who you're messing with, video game. You would make a very good online streamer. called Mortuary's Assistant's second job. This man get those photos from the haunted... Oh, is that where they come from, Bex? I need to light the candles. What candles? You heard online streaker? Uh, need to find the squirrel. I need to light the candles and I need to light the candles and find the missing bear piece. Keep your eyes out for a big bear, chat. Good luck trying to find it in all this clutter. A boom box. Karis Dave, thanks for the light. Did you guys see? That's an old technique that I... It's ingrained deep in my psyche. When I cleared that corner, I didn't have my illumination on. I cut my light off. It's called throwing light. If you look down a hallway and you see a light coming, 
you can see the light source continue to expand as you're going down a hallway and it gives the person that's in hiding or waiting to ambush you it gives them a better idea of where you're at so if you have good feet discipline when it comes to movement going from heel to toe as you're clearing hallways you can do something with your flashlight called throwing light where the light does this number so much that you can't tell if the person's coming or going if you have good sound discipline with your feet and then you have good light discipline there's no way that person has any idea to know where you are in that hallway and then you can actually get to jump on them. Which is why I cut my light off. Is this Power Wash Simulator? Is this Power Wash Simulator, Scotty? The mannequin's assistant. Aw, oh, man. Things are starting to get a real a spoopy in here. Okay, there's a lighter. We, the unwilling, trained by the unskilled to do the impossible for the ungrateful. Well, that was about the stupidest quote I've ever heard before. Andrew Beverage. The awesomest, the most delicious of all beverages. Corey Pugh, Randy Johnston, and Ian Pooh. Welcome to the show. Hello, Andrew. You got a few cobwebs outside your house there. Time for a power wash. Open two times. <laughs> Nobody tells Scotty Blades what to do. Screw you. Oh, boy. All right, League of Blades. Do we, do we open the door that tells me what to do, or do I go down the hallway to the Red Room of Death? It's a Monday. Damn it to hell, so I'm off on my... It's so, I'm so off. Oh, what do you mean say hi on your lunch break? Do you not know if you're at work or not, Andrew? 20k? 20k what? 20k to do what? Must be the Luigi board. Open the door. Red room. Uh-oh. The League of Blades is split. Open the door. Can't answer twice, Michael. Hey, Robin. Red room. Call Barbados first. The door. Oh, open it 20,000 times. I got you. What's up, Melton? Get laid or laid out, baby. Bunch of nonsense written on her door. Can't door can't ding her doorbell. Can't ding her doorbell. Bunch of nonsense. Alright, well. Holy crap, when did my window get caged up where I can't get in? Whoa! I'm a prisoner in my own room. Open the door two times. One. Nobody told me this game's gonna make me do math. To the Lion, the Witch, and the Magic Cabinet. Ah. Hey, I get you, Andrew. This game starts very PT downtime, but it eventually evolves into its own game. But the description of the game says, heavily inspired by P.T. It starts like P.T. This game's fun. What's up, Cherry Potter? How you doing? Karen Peck, Cherry Potter have entered Boom to Curse you, math! Cherry Potter has entered Boom Town Theater. We have a lot of incredible content creators here in the League of Blades and here inside of the theater, and Cherry Potter is one of them. Cherry, thanks for answering the call to justice. Did I give you guys your boomsticks and your axes yet? Bam. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. We gotta go sleep. PT. PT STD. I don't know about PT STD, but I like to give you guys STDs. Scotty transmitted delight. Huh? Scotty transmitted delight? Cody McLean, Ear Larson, Brian. And Kara Stabe, the hottest male lady I've ever known in my entire life, delivering the packages. Thank you very much for the 50 stars, Kara. Alright. 
let's light this candle because the internet told me to. You never played PT? PT was a trip. As, as mayor of Boomtown, I welcome you, Cherry Pop Tarts. <laughs> we have a thing here in the League of Blades where we get names wrong and our accents are really bad. Come on, baby. That's a lot of cock. Roaches. All right, we'll lit that candle. Let's light this candle. Let's light this candle. Let's light this candle. I'm going to honor Grandma Pecker Lips with a finger bang. Love you, Grandma Pecker Lips. I love you, too. The blood bank. Physical therapy is good for you. Really feel like there's a disconnect between me and Thad Boatwright sometimes. I just don't know what's going on. Chris Locke has summoned Steven Seagal to the stage. Shoo. All right. Where are you, Steven? <laughs> what are you doing down there? Get over here, Steven. Don't be embarrassed. There you go. There he is. It's pretty much Get your tomatoes ready, chat. Here we go. Steven Seagal with another dad joke. Oh, boy. What did the coffee report to the police? A mugging. <laughs> I'm the greatest action star who ever lived. Jean-Claude Van Damme's a fraud. Uh, it's Steven. I am Steven Seagal. I forgot. Okay, bye bye. Squad. Karate squad. Steven Seagal, everybody. Steven Peekaboo. Steven Seagal. Way to go, Steven. Fires tomato cannon. Paige, welcome to the show. Paige, once again, thanks for inviting some folks to the league. Chris will be done. Boo. <laughs> Secret. Secret key inside the secret chest inside the secret wall. Yoinkums? When I spent a couple of years farming Madison, my biggest customer was Whole Foods. I delivered so much free range beef. He's playing the kazoo again. What do we do here, chat? We don't throw our light. They didn't know we were coming, right? Oh shit. A Luigi board. You get out out of here, you little girl. Get! I ain't your dad. I've told you a million times. Get out of here. You're gonna grow into a beautiful succubus one day. Oh my god. What? All right. Let's try this again. Good. Did your resub not show up? Sometimes it does, Lisa. It does show up. I see your badge beside of your name, and if you just resubbed, thank you so much for once again returning to the Hall of Heroes and taking your place, Blade Master, at the Table of Blades. Your Eagle of Justice is back and your boomstick of plus two slaying. So uh, I've seen a couple of folks have resupported since the show started. And of course, this show is not made possible without producers of the show like all of you. What is PT? I can't remember what PT stands for, David, but it was the... PT was the first game like this. It was um, Hideo Kojima's attempt at making a modern Silent Hill game. And it was a demo that they put on the original PlayStation or off the top of my head playable teaser playable teaser oh god you levio's song oh cherry potter sparkling heart huh hey sparkle right back at you that is a boomstick salute from hero to hero because i recognize real recognize real big old boomstick salute thank you very much cherry potter for the one thousand stars on the big screen what a star performance pt stands for paranormal titties they got a mind of their own oh, 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 oh. 
look, one of them popped in my mouth. I'm over here like this. Yeah, yeah. It's not creepy if I don't breathe hard. Yeah, yeah. Good, cool, yeah. That's why I got into this ghost hunting business anyway, yeah. PT stands for Papa Teaser. PT stands for... I kind of set you guys up for this. I wanted to see the League of Blades responses. PT stands for Penis Tuck. Oh, we got you, Levio's song. Cherry I letting it rip! I only recently found you, but happy I did. Eh, look at, look at them, look at them cannons out there in the audience flexing their hero muscle. We're honored and privileged and absolutely humbled to have you amongst the ranks here and love seeing you hanging out there in the audience with all of your fellow horror lovers. We like you a lot. We think you're really cool. Really really cool and thank you for the back-to-back -back 1,000 stars to the gutter we go did that kid leave anything when she ghosted me like all my tinder dates she left a welcome mat I ate too many beans we like beans Peter tickle come on Joseph <laughs> Peter tickle PT equals peen tape PT stands for I'm not even going to say that out loud, Chris. That's how bad that is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to say that out loud. Peter Tickle! Pixie Lee! Adam Jarchow. Time to play... Prostate trauma. Oh my god. Poo nanny taters. Alright, alright. Y'all are taking this crazy train and going off the tracks. Does the key open the box in the hallway? Oh yeah. Hootie tang. Hootie tang on the water ta. Sip of climb, bacon. Was that baby always there? Stupid baby. Oh, man, my apartment locked myself out. What do we got here? What is that, a dingleberry? No, that's the bear that I needed. Yeah! That is the fastest Amazon delivery package. That was a drive-by Amazon. <laughs> here you go! Whoop. You guys are terrible. No, we're American, Marcelo. Who said to open my box? Last night, I ordered uh, some wings from a local wing place that we had because it was football Sunday and I didn't watch a single game because uh, I didn't want to. Anyway, the person that delivered my, it was a DoorDash, the person that delivered my food drove by and they basically rolled their window down and threw it because I heard it hit the window of my house. <laughs> They kept driving. <laughs> I resent that remark. <laughs> I resent that remark. I typed on the DoorDash things, how was your delivery? I took a picture of it and said, speedy. It's a speedy delivery. All right. We're pro titty around here. Yes, we are. I'm running on a platform of, a platform of titty, coffees, and pizza. Mmm. I know I didn't order a box full of books. This wasn't me. Must have been an order from BWW. Buffalo Wild Wings. No, it's from East Coast Wings. Same thing. Can I not grab this book? Oh, there's blood marks on this. Ooh. Tyson Hope, welcome to the show. Chris will be done. Chris and posing his will upon the show with the 400 stars. Thank you very much, Chris. Pixie Lee, thanks for the share. PT Pussy Torque.
I don't mean all of you, you ding-dongs. Good lord. The League of Blades is international. Well, Scotty, I'm not American. It was a joke about how dumb Americans are. Well, I'm, I'm not American. I know you're not. We're international. We come from all walks of life. There's like three aliens in the League of Blades. They, they're saying hi right now. Big chunk! <laughs> Ping chunk. <laughs> I'm American. Let me in, demon. It stands for popping titties out. Yeah, that was. Oh, I found the food that I didn't know was. America, fuck yeah! Gonna take another motherfucking day, America. Never do. Now you gotta answer to. My apartment has changed a lot since I was last. Oh boy! This is the end. The end. It's here. Demon face. Horror. Voices in my head. Mother, what'd you say? Mother, what'd you say? Running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. Mother, what'd you say? Mother, what'd you say? Running through my head, running through my head. This is something Take that, evil professional hero, Scotty Blades, on the case. Of course I knew what that was. Cherry Potter, thanks for the share. Tabitha Wagstaff, welcome to the show. I'm taking you to the bank. The blood bank. Who said that? PT equals pink taint. an item miss yeah I need the little device to play the Luigi board Ooh. where is the Luigi board device where you be there's a note it says here I remember that day in the park you wanted to go to the ride but we agreed to do it after the picnic <laughs> Who writes this stuff? Yeah, I remember that fat shit I took yesterday. <laughs> Who writes that stuff? Sometimes if I run too fast, my hemorrhoids flare up and I gotta take a day off. Who says that? Every once in a while, feet tall. Share, thank you, Jenny. Open two times. I tried. Nothing happened. One. Oh, here we go. Chris. Umbilical cord. What does the hero's handbook say about following the 
Red River, chat. Time for a little audience participation. What does it say about following the Red River? The Red River. What does it say about following the Red River? Red River. Red River. Hey, Jessica Brewer. Red River. Don't follow the Red River. I have never went to push an ejection button so fast, Tim. Don't follow the Red River. Follow it! Follow it! <laughs> Always bring man ponds. Go blindly into danger! <laughs> Run blindly into danger! Hey, Jessica. Always follow the Red River. That's where the best candy is. I'll be damned. That's what it says. It's where the best candy is. You're right. Who read of that? Take my bear powers. Follow it, but backwards. Cherry, that's actually a thing that we do. We always go in. If it's dark, we always go in backwards. Eight, six, seven, five. Why did I even start reading that? The Luigi board piece. Oh, cool, a chick! <gasps> Gotta do a few curls real quick. Do a couple push ups. <sighs> What's up, babe? Charl, how's it going, buddy? I see you've taken up the arts. Well, let's see what you drew here. Let's turn our light off and for zoom. And you drew a dude's face melting off. Not really sure the direction you're going with this, but hey, man, art is all about the eye of the beholder, so cool. Can I do anything? I just hear a bunch of heavy breathing, but that's cool. Be like the Fruit Loops bird, just follow your nose. To adventure! Hildy! I have the beer holder. Aren't they? Welcome, Hildy and Jessica! Thank you all very much for leaving your mark on the broadcast, answering the call to justice, and joining us here in Broomtown Cheaters. And Broomtown Cheaters. So, Madison, a couple of the reviews said the game goes from PT to Layers of Fear. So I'm interested to see how many mannequins are at the bottom of this Tootsie Roll here. A one, a two, a three, a three. Oh shit, we're from... Vix swinging the sex bot bat. Thank you very much, Vix. Hell uh, what's the code? Zoom! Need a password. Oh my god, is that goat feet? Cool! Need a password. All right, well, let's go try to find a password, I guess. Cool goat feet. Couldn't pick a better batter. Yeah, Bix is pretty cool. The code is boobs. It wouldn't let me punch it in. 0069. The password right here is boob. You're a boob. <laughs> Better pizza! Better people! The Papa Blades! I gotta make my own pizza. Papa Blades Pizza. Papa Blades Pizza is the pizza for you and me. I said Papa Blades Pizza. Yo, three headed deformed baby of death. Look at time above the door. Time above the door. 
My eyes are up here. Oh, are they? Okie dokie. Touch, touch. Hell upside down. That's actually a really good point, Steven. Hell upside down is one, one, three, four. That's actually really, really smart. Holy crap, who let the smart guy in the League of Blades? That blew my mind, Steven. Yeah, you're even getting emojis of like, oh, that makes sense. Who let this education in the League of Blades? That was smart. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I can play the Luigi board. That's right, I forgot. The mannequin is thick, just the way that I like it. You know what they say about the Blarney Stones and the luck of the Irish? Well, kiss a tit for luck. Now I feel lucky. 1408. Here we go. 1408. Dang it. Melissa Byram, thanks for the like. Welcome to the sh Hey, babe. Declare your intentions because I'm Scotty Blades and I'm here to slay. And it can go the easy way or the hard way. The easy way is I pull up my boomstick and I blast your ass to smithereens and send you back to whatever dimension you came from. Of course, the hard way involves my dick and ham sandwiches. So we'll see how this goes. That's the best pickup line you guys will ever hear. Use that at a bar. You only get slapped a couple of times. That'll help your character. I got that stupid song stuck in my head now. All the things you said, all the things you said, all the things you said running through my head. Alright, what was the code, chat? What was the... Let's see here. Damn it. What was the code? That line actually worked for you after I turned from jail for the third time. Jason. Hello, Cody. This is like the most... And I stood in the... Okay. That's how you trap the Sandman right there. How do you know my banking account password? Oh, one, two, three, four. I'm taking you to the bank. The blood bank. Chris Locke continuing to let the... put. Chris Locke's being an absolute superstar. Hello, Brandon Beatty. How you doing, buddy? How do I enter the PS5 giveaway? Get him, Steven. Get him. Let's go! Get him. No, wrong button. Get him. Get, get him. Who said that? Cody, get him. Cha, cha, wa. Flipper attack. Flipper attack. Nope. You've got to do it. You idiot. Flipper attack. Your flipper's on the bottom side, idiot. Whatever said he was smart. All right. Do your dad joke. 
Chris Locke, thank you so very much for continuing to rain. Super Chats. Why are elevator jokes so classic and good? They work on many levels. <laughs> <laughs> they work on many levels. Flipper attack is making your day. Let's see if we can try this again here. There you go. Thank you, Steven Seagull. You can leave now. Appreciate you, Steven Seagull. And thank you, Chris Locke, for continuing to be a superstar. Zombie Slayers, Ian Stinton, Brandon Beatty, Rachel, Luis. If you guys saw Steven Seagull just double flipper drop kick Cody McLean, can I get some finger bangs in the chat? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That guy's eating hamsters. Can we ban Steven Seagull dad jokes? I think they're kind of funny. They help break up the monotony of very good games. <laughs> this is a great game. It's very rare that we play a game this good. Okay. Okay. I know I picked up a fusey. Um, try that box. Aha! Uh -huh, I had a key to that box too. I feel personally attacked. He literally kicked you, Cody. <laughs> Daddy Duncan streams. Man. I thought I brought the most dad and or daddy energy to the internet. Daddy Duncan? Nice. You can do anniversary posts. 13 months of being a blade master and standing in the Hall of Heroes fighting all the evil. Thank you, Ian. 13 incredible months. I found the switch. Now connect. I live for the dad jokes. I live to hear your California accent. Oh my God, Scott. I live for all the stupid cigar jokes. I got the thing. I'll give him the bird. The nuts guy. She's a new streamer friend? Cool. That's fantastic, Matt. All right. Just like my own personal hero, Kurt Russell from the movie Stargate. I'm jacked and have a chiseled jaw and I like kicking evil's ass. And just like Kurt Russell, You guys, who could forget Kurt Russell? <laughs> who could forget Kurt Russell? <laughs> I want to hear the truth. Kurt Russell is his real name. Kurt Russell is his stage name. Nuzzle with Russell. And just like my personal hero, Skilgotter Spallone. <laughs> Act four of the Golden Egg. Oh, I'm not reading this nerd shit. Just assume it says something about demons and being possessed, and I gotta find a key, and there's probably a mannequin. Just Kurt Ruffles. You mean Kurt Bruzzles. Kurt Ruzzle Bazoom. <laughs> Bazoom. It's all the reflexes, baby. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Shanafelt. You can stop at five or six stores, or just one. They call him the Sandman because he likes to put people to sleep. 
Kurt Russell married Goldie Hawn. Kelly, are you the new Thad Boatwright? Kurt Russell has two kids. Shut up! <laughs> Kurt Russell's crap. How do I get past this stupid crap? I don't care about any of it. There we go. What's up, Destiny? Uh, communication with Henry has been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch. Your police station is just a weird dude with a bunch of TVs? Nice. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of this world. I'm a maniac. Let me do it. Shannon fell. Watching you, man. My day just got better. Destiny Schmidt has answered the call to justice. Welcome. We're calling Jonathan Waite. Kurt Russell. Destiny, thanks for the like. Once again, Daddy Duncan, Matt Herber, our buddy from Zombie Slayers, another incredible content creator. I really like Zombie Slayers. I just think the freaking world of Matt. I think he's a good dude. You guys, he's been one of us for a long time. Be sure to check out his stream because I think he's just the best freaking dude in the world. Love me some Matt. According to my task manager, Father's Day is not responding. Probably because it's not speaking American. It's speaking freaky deaky Latin. What the hell does Lil Wadden mean? Quick. With the power of Google, we'll figure out what the Latin word Loadden means. Hey, Micah. Can I get a Richard Forkin? Uh, you can get whatever the hell you want. What's up, Gary Long? Act 5. Be careful. Evil knows where to look for you. <gasps> Evil's inside my Lady D body pillows that I cry myself to sleep in every night after I make them dirty with my own product. Oh, this guy's talking. Uh, let's see here. Nerd shit, nerd shit. Uh, I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like that was yesterday. Gary Long, Sammy Moore, welcome. The subtitles changed Freaky Deaky to Freaky Dicky. Well, no wonder. G Wiz info live backwards is evil. The Matrix. The Matrix simulations. Aliens. <laughs> Kurt Russell has a suggestive snake tattoo. I don't care. Are we live? Are we evil? <laughs> huh? Boob backwards is dude. Oh. Well, that ruins boobs. I need my video camera. Is, that's a fishing pole. So they're talking. Whoops, there goes another keyboard. <laughs> Alright, uh, would Rick Moranis care? I don't know. Fazoom backwards is unspeakable. No, it's not. It's Muzva. Would you guys stop? <laughs> Churn for kin. You could stop it just one. That's your affair. A bum. <laughs> That's what he is. A bum. <laughs> boob backwards is boob. <laughs> Who said it was dude? That was a photograph.
Thank you, Chris, for the two dollar. What did you miss? Some dumbass. <laughs> Said the boom. <laughs> Said the boom backwards is dude. <laughs> The man can barely hydrate. Oh my god. <laughs> Boob. Backwards is dude. Nice dudes. <laughs> what I tell y'all about bringing education to these halls? <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all hear that? We're playing a game. That's the best joke ever. Uh, I don't know if it was the best joke ever. But it's just the way that it was said so matter-of-factly after... Because I've always said that the Scotty Blade Show, I'm the host and you guys are the co-host. You know how like on like Jimmy Fallon and Conan O'Brien, they got the... Like the, you're, the, you're my Andy. You're the Robin to my Batman. So whenever I make a joke, I always bounce my jokes off my co-host, which is the chat, which is the Blade Chat, which is the League of Blades. So, you know, I said something dumb, and we, we start making jokes about it, and it pans to John Tricky, and John's like, Boob Backwards is dude. It was just the so matter-of-factly that it was said. It caught me so off guard, because when, when you first said that, I was like, oh. And then I think it was Lisa that corrected you and said, no, boob backwards is boob. <laughs> yeah, boob. I always say something dumb. Yeah, well, I mean, I've laughed a lot. I'm not saying that your jokes aren't funny. I said it was the way that it caught me. Shut up, kid. I need your crowbar. I'm sorry I didn't know that crowbar meant that much to you. You can have it back. The new Red Bull Fig Apple's good. Ooh. Yeah. I think cause it was the way that Lisa corrected John. Because when John said that, I was like, oh. And in my brain hole, it made sense. I guess boob backwards is dude. And then Lisa just flat out said, no, boob backwards is boob. I'm sweating. I was laughing so hard. Hey, Brianna. So we went from what? PT? Shanae O'Connor? What are you doing out here? That's what I'm going to be doing to you in your beef curtains. 
any minute now. Hi, I'm Scotty Blaze, professional hero, slayer of evil, and internet's daddy. How do you want to handle this? If you look at boob in a mirror, it's dude. If you look at it upside down, it's poop. Nothing compares. Slow back to the blue. Ah, shit! Oh, oh, This game sucks. Pumpkins for two dollars. Why do I have a crowbar? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Donnie Gray's like, nope. <laughs> hey, Captain. Shanae O'Connor has four kids. Come in. What the hell? Hey, Captain. Hey, Wilson. I resub Matt Herber. Welcome back to the Hall of Heroes and welcome back to the Table of Blades for the Special Forces of the Evil Slayers, known as the Blade Masters. Thank you very much, Matt. There's been a bunch of resubs today. I don't know why Facebook doesn't send us alerts for those anymore, but I cannot tell you how important those are to keeping the channel up and running. Thank you so very much for all the resupports. Is that a ball gag? Who wears a red nose? Oh. It's a frickin' clown. The outhouse is boarded shut? Yeah, it is. Chris Locke, thanks for the $2 super chat, buddy. What is that noise? Oh, my camera. That's right. I laughed so hard earlier, I have got a killer headache now. That was freaking hilarious. Oh, look, a condom. A five-dick condom. Okay. What was that? What is it with this game and cooking up gerbils? All oh, these things are alive. I'm going to name them. There's Mad Shack, Reshack, Abendigo, Radio Shack, Bibblewack, Robert's Sack. We've got Mickey Mouse's glove. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Five dick condom. <laughs> oh, look, a condom. I pick it up and look closer. A five dick condom. Uh, another one of these stupid Happy Father's Day things. Um, that new Blockbuster series on Netflix sucks. They're trying too hard to be The Office, and they're not funny. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. It's him. It's him what? What is it? Oh, it's the clown suit! No! Nobody said anything about clowns? Uh... I mean, I can pick up a log out of the fireplace. Oh, I should go up the ladder. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. Catherine Tetzlov Harkato. Ralph, Lauren, Joe, Justin, Osborne. I have laughed. Your roommate's watching today. Hey, what's up, Houston's roommate? How you doing? I laughed so hard my right eye seized up. That's how hard I laughed earlier. The five levels of contact. Whew. Looks like shrimp. They're gerbils. 
he was here, he was hidden. Okay. Are we still alive? Did you live backwards for G Wiz is evil? Yes, we're still alive. You said Radio Shack. The next thing I thought was Blockbuster. I got you. I need to find a way to open the safe. Have you tried shooting it? Alright, we got the thing. I guarantee there's going to be a mannequin behind me touching my butt. No butt touching mannequin. Okay. Light it on fire. Oh, lighter and fuel. I was going to say, light it on fire, stupid. Fuel. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that. We'll try to zy. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Fuel. 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 Sarah K. Welcome to the show. Fuel. Is the train fuel? Is this fuel? That's a potted plant. Fuel. Ooh, and when I burn. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Aha! Really weird place to leave lighter fuel right beside. My roommate only watches Fox News and football. Sounds like my dad. Take that, dad! I was born with an extra dick? No, you weren't. What? 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 Rochelle, I'm not feeling too hot. I've been fighting through a sinus thing for the last week or so, and it's reared its ugly head again the past couple days, so I'm right there with you, sweet pea. Let the healing power of Papa slay in love. Give you all the Dr. Blades medicine woman magic that you need. <clears throat> There's a candles thing. Did I break into the house to do nothing but break out of the house? I did. I broke into the house just to break back out of the house. What was the purpose of that? Hey, Parker. When the lights <clears throat> go down. I can't even sing. My throat's still hurting. Oh, can I touch this now? The crowbar. That's what happens when it gets cold outside. Everybody's like, oh, I love the <clears throat> I love the fall. It's just the beginning of the end. Everybody gets cold when it gets sick. Or everybody gets sick when it gets cold. I don't like I hate. I for six months I get seasonal depression. I hate it when it's cold outside. <clears throat> Yummy. <laughs> what have we got here? What the frick was that? I took out the access card. Oh! To what? Are we in Shrek Swamp? Choose number two, me lord. I really want to go fishing. Screw all this supernatural shit. Let me throw a rod out here and see if I can catch something. Huh. The hell? Here, I can get it with a hook. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Be right back. Cherry, don't leave me! Cherry! Cherry! Grab fishing pole with a hook. I'll take winter over summertime. I just... I don't like it when my kids are sick. I don't like it when I'm sick. I don't like it when people that I care about are sick. I mean, you get sick all year round, don't get me wrong, but it seems like wintertime it likes the doubles and triples. Plus, I don't like being cold. I hate it. I don't want to have to worry about what to wear when I go outside. Is it so cold I gotta put on a sweater? 
I love the cold. Everyone else stays inside. I don't have to deal with them. <laughs> mm, it said a hook. Oh my god, I love porn. <laughs> Sounds like you don't take enough vitamin JCVD. Nah, everybody in my family's got immune disorder or immune disorders, immune autoimmune stuff. We just gotta be super careful. With some more vitamin JCVD. Well, that was scary. Hmm, if I was a hook, and not a crook, it's snowing in Oregon. I saw so many photos yesterday in the Discord group of it snowing, and it really blew my mind. You know what really is important, though? We got God of War in two days. That looks real. Holy freaking crap. Oh my god! For zoom. Ah. Huh? Something to unlock somewhere else. Oh, the thing! I gotta dig Bick. You read that wrong. Wait a second, Cody. I read that the right way. So if I read that the right way, even though you did that sentence backwards, what does that mean for me? You put that sentence wrong, both sentences back to back, and I read it perfectly, the first try without even trying. Is my brain dumb? Is me brain dumb? It's a good sandwich today. I'm glad you like it. I came home from school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. That means you're dyslexic. No, I eat a lot of food, Daniel. I don't. I don't like to. I, I eat a lot of food. Dude, did you guys know that boob backwards is dude? <laughs> I'm glad you like the sandwich today, Chris. I went to Oregon for all those those Oregon farmer protest things that was going on up there. Oregon's a gorgeous state, but I couldn't live up there. So freaking cold. <clears throat> Tyranny Fisher, thanks for the like. We keep jumping between characters. I have no idea who I am. Oh, this is the beginning of the game. Right there. Right there. Nobody sneaks up on Papa Blades. Okay, there's her. Are we cool? Are we cool? Right this way. Can I have the last 30 minutes of my life back? Why, did you not like the last 30 minutes, Kelly? Ah, we've missed you too, Tierney. Oh my god, that's creepy. Wow. Please still be there when I get this flashlight. Dang it! Come into the house, dearie! I don't mind if I do. Gonna get me some of them delicious grandma cookies and a couple of forehead kisses. Well, see you later. Doo doo pop pop. There's a real cowboy here. He buffs the leather on his boots. 
Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you her. I'll tell you her. Uh, well, I didn't mean to go up the stairs. I wanted to look around. I thought those was blocked, but that's cool. That's cool. Let's go back down the stairs and look around a little bit. That's cool. That's cool. Watch out for those kissing cousins. That looks like one. That's a nightmare. That's real nightmare. Is that real nightmare? Is that real nightmare? Ooh, Silent Hill 4, baby! How many times have we seen Silent Hill 4 inspire people? There's so many chained doors in video games, especially horror games. I love it. Yeah. Grandma, I want to see your floppy granny titties. <laughs> oh, it was a kid. Well, nobody told me that. Stupid game making me look bad. Resident Evil taught us to always drain the main vein to see what you get. Yes! A, a clamp, I mean a, a lever, a sliver, vampire confirmed, come in, is this the house from Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No, but we have seen this house in several horror games before. I think this is an Unreal Engine house. Whoops. Joshua Bryant, Justin Lush, Aaron, John, Tovey. I've answered the call to justice and joined us here in Boomtown. Welcome. Hello, Aaron. And Leak. Happy Motivated Monday. Happy Before Motivated Monday. Monday. Thank you, Barry. I didn't meant to turn the chat bot off from earlier. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. So I'm sorry about that. Thank you, uh, Aaron John Toby, for the 50 stars. Sorry, I had the chat bot on. I, I turned it on for a joke earlier and I forgot to cut it back off. This is creepy. Yeah, that's creepy. This is super creepy. We got a Jack, Shanae O'Connor, Grandma, and some little Deutsch kid wearing his Deutsch outfit. Okay. That's fine. We got plenty of Heineken. Or Radlers. <laughs> we got some plain flour. We got some green pen or a green fuck it. We got some spaghetti and meatballs. Scotty muted me, I can't hear him. Why would I personally mute you, Robin? Yeah. Watch this. I'll take time out of my stream to personally mute Robin. Just reload your app. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest Scotty of them all? Deck number 42. Find powers, activate. Eric Anderson, welcome to the show. How'd you get back there, crazy candle man? <laughs> Murder! <laughs> I'm the fairest Scotty of them all. I need to find a crowbar. I don't want to find a crowbar. I'm going to leave whatever that is in there. I tell you one thing he does not have issues with. Those are some healthy looking gums, and I don't see any plaque on them teeth whatsoever. It's important to take care of your teeth. You only get one shot at them, unless, of course, you get veneers, and then we'll screw you. Mm. Okay, they're still there. That's weird. That's creepy and weird. Also, spaghettis. 
Anybody out here got a crowbar? They got a note. Somebody left me. Hole in the porch. Says here she hid the keys. Find the lock pick. You know how to use it. <laughs> Find the lock pick. You mean my right leg? Pretty normal backyard for most rednecks. Okay. Oh, okay, that's locked. We need a key for that. Pumpkins, two dollars. We got rotten pumpkins. We dead ass. We got rotten pumpkins. Disc golf deal. That's an awesome name. Nick Van Sice. Just in time to see some hot mannequin ass. It's such an unhealthy relationship. Freaking bush mannequins. Staring at Scotty through the glass. Sent by Cherry. Hey, man, things are going great. It's good to have you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Happy Motivated Monday. Thanks for, like to say thank you to Cherry Potter for sending us another hero here in the audience. And here you go. Acts of Justice, Boomstick. Let's slay all the evil away. Cannot believe I didn't hit myself in the head just then. What's up, Bridget Dean? Them mannequins got nice butts. You know, they ought to make mannequins like real human beings and put all the hair and blemishes that's on your ass. Or am I the only person in the world that has hair and blemishes on their ass? You may ask yourself, Scotty, why are you looking at your ass? Because it's America. So I don't know. <laughs> Good luck being hot, mannequin. I got evil to slay. Oh, shit. Disc Golf Deal has become the newest Blade Master and supporter here. In the League of Blades, you've been through a lot of adventures, you've been through a lot of challenges, weary warrior. Come inside the Hall of Heroes, take your place at the table of blades, there's your personal eagle of justice to carry you to and from adventures, and there's your boomstick engraved with your name on it. Blade Master Deal. Now go forth. Go forth and be a bright light in the world. Look at all the uh, fellow Blade Masters in the chat. Throwing their eagles up in celebration. Kaka! Kaka! Scott Johnson thinks the like. Kaka! Welcome to, as Danny Pearman says, a better life. Enjoy the stickers in the chat. And uh, enjoy the badge beside your name. Let's all of Facebook know that you're a supporter in the League of Blades. And thank you for keeping this crazy, evil slaying content up and running every day. Appreciate that. You should go that way, dumbass. Why I oughta? Nobody winged me. Lisa L. Joe. Sorry you feel left out. It obviously wasn't on purpose, but there's your eagle of justice. There's your personally engraved boomstick. And can we get another rounds of eagles? Because we forgot to wing Lisa, and we didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. Upsy daisy. A man that can. A man mannequin. I don't. Love the vibes from the second that I joined. Uh. I have been told that I have too much personality. And that I am too live. <laughs> Hang around the rosy jiggle. You in there, Satan? I mean, Phil? AKA. Sow, my eyeballs! This kid is not Phil. Who the hell names their kid Phil? Somewhere out there, Phil Bronji's sitting in the audience. My mom called me Phil. Also, the greatest basketball coach of all time, Phil Jackson, was named Phil. So, there you go, Scotty. Shut up. If I just lurk in the background and not become a supporter, can I get the Finch 
of freedom and the pocket knife of peril. I believe those are all things that are acceptable. My mother punished me and locked me in a room after you left Dad. She started treating me badly. Dad! Uh, the bolt cutters are in the attic or on a boat. This picture is hard to tell. Do you get a pigeon? The pigeon of... Let's see, what's, what's slightly less than justice? The pigeon of... The pigeon of... The pigeon of slight satisfaction. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, they're going to give us a camera like Madison. That's stupid. What's slightly less than justice? Uh, the pigeon of acceptable. Is that hot chick again? The pigeon of prostitution. Ye yes, Scott Jackson. What is slightly less than justice? Prostitution. Oh, the Pigeon of Fazoom. The Pigeon of Less Justice. <laughs> the Pigeon of Less Justice. Ah, oh, my face. Hang on a second. another word for justice the pigeon of fairness the pigeon of fair play the pigeon of yeah we'll do fair play the pigeon of fair play The pigeon of the hummingbird of <laughs> the hummingbird of happenstance. <laughs> Stupid. The hummingbird of happenstance. The pigeon of foreplay. The Pigeon of Purification. Ooh! The Pigeon of Purification. Or, if you don't get an Eagle of Justice, you get a Steven Seagull. What do you think? The Pigeon of... I need a bolt cutter. Okay. The Turkey of Fairness. The Gobbler of Goodness. The Gobbler of Goodness! The Gobbler of Goodness. The Eagle of Justice and the Gobbler of Goodness. The Hawk of Happiness. What's up, Chi Young? The Gobbler, the Turkey of Transcendence. Did you know that pigeons backwards is seagull? The crow of civility. The seagull of shit happens. How about the fowl of fuck around and find out. <laughs> the fowl of fuck around and find out. <laughs> Hey, babe. The pelican of persistence. The robin of righteousness. That's good, too. The bluebird of cheapness. PT, the pigeon of tolerance. God, these are so freaking good. I thought the gobbler of goodness would be the one, but you guys are killing it. 
Hmm. The foul of fuckery! <laughs> I still haven't found the crowbar yet. Did you know turkey spelt backwards is yummy? Tit warbler of insecurity. The foul of fuck around and find out. Yep. I am still playing a video game. Go figure. To the attic. The Todd LaRue of headlights. That's not a bird, but I respect your commitment, Mark. We're all talking about birds, and Mark gets on here. The Todd LaRue of pelicans. Those pictures we saw. Where did I mess up at? And one game is a dead body right here. Spell attic slowly. A T T I C. Don't laugh and don't clap it, John. He don't. Oh, the front porch. Okay, the front porch. I love this place. <laughs> it's the most fun show on the internet, by God. You get your scares and your laughs all in the same place. Don't laugh at him, Vix. He'll keep doing it. The Hawk of Honor. Ooh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Pixie's doing their best bird impression. Ha! The trickiest of tricksters. Indeed he is. Indeed. Ha! I'm stuck. But I got Bumpkin. Absolutely, positively stuck, stuck, stuck. Don't laugh at him, Vix. Yeah. I like to think, you know how I always say, nobody tells Scotty Blades what to do? I think I've trained you guys wrong. Nobody tells the League of Blades what to do. Laugh at that man. Laugh at him. Keep your eyes peeled for a key or a... Son of a bitch! Anyway, there's the lockpicks. The duck of suck. <laughs> John, thank you for the 400 stars. Scotty, I think you trained you guys wrong blades. I trained him wrong on purpose. The sparrow of shoe buddy.
the sparrow of shoe buddy that was good that was good <laughs> shut up dog I'm busy hey Amber Drake So many resubs and new subs today to keep this evil slaying entertainment up and running. So many old heroes of old returning to the Hall of Heroes, their home. We never took away your table of blades. You know what? I'm just going to shut the hell up because I just ain't making any sense right now. What's up, Chris? How you doing, buddy? Who are you? I see it all I need to see in this world. I had enough of this shit. Yeah. 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 I've had enough of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Had enough of that. Oh god. Better make sure to top off with some holy water to make sure it is going the right way, not the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. The Pegasus of persecution? <laughs> I mean, Pegasus technically is a bird because it's a horse. Bazoom! Bazoom! How you been, Chris? Good to see you, buddy. Bazoom! I felt somebody tickling my anus. It was you. Stop it. Should be a bolt cutters up here. Your followage is way off. Yeah, I'm sure it's been reset a few times. The sundial of sustenance. Let's get some followages in the chat. How do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it. No Damon. <laughs> no Damon. What did I need that for? I could have swore there was supposed to be a set of bolt cutters up here. No bolt cutters, plenty of chicken bones. I'm new here. You seem pretty cool. With a 19 month subscriber badge showing really bright. Parker Carroll. 579 days. Paul McGinnis. 518 days. Charles Burkett, 610 days. Charlie Hayslip, almost 700 days. Something happened. A lot of folks got unfollowed and then they got refollowed and it messes up your followage for some reason. And the chicken of clusterfuckery. <laughs> the duck of persecution. 384 days. I uh, 85. I'm sorry. For Damon. Amanda. 900. Almost the one. There is somebody in the League of Blades with a thousand days of Faloa. Just a long time to be a hero. Almost 1,000 days. Still watching the show a thousand days later. Ain't those the ones that just make you smile at night when you're second guessing yourself? They've been here for a thousand days, man. The Blue Jay of Bumble. You're freaking killing it, Ariel. The, Al the Elvis of ins inscrutable inscrutability. That word's too big for my brain. Chris Smith, thanks for the like. Brandon Woods, thanks for the like. And once again, John Tricky. I'm not going to say that last thing that you said because I know better than to read your stuff out loud now. A T T I C. Melissa, 729 days. You're close to 800. Cody, there's so much stuff flowing through my chat bot. If I missed it, it's not because I don't think highly of you. I just missed it. 688 Dagons for Libby. 
It's got it. I'm not saying that, John. Bridget Dean is not currently following Scotty Blades. Yours ain't popping up. Just keep trying. It might work. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. What's up, Nikki Ann? I gotta get some stuff done. Just leave us on in the background. <laughs> Ted said Dick's enormous. <laughs> you do follow. Bridget, I'm pretty sure you've been around for a long time. I'm just picking when it says... When it says that, you all, you've obviously been around for a long time. I'm not sure why it says you're not following, because you have been. Nikki, I hope you're having a good day. Cemetery. The Heron of Hell Raisin! This freaking game is unsettling as hell. What's up, Will Charles? Silly book of faces! Do I have what I need for this? Oh, I got the sundial thing. Where did I need the sundial at? You go for a Red Bull and a foot rub? Well, I don't do Red Bulls, but I will rub your feet past completion and farther. What is out there? That, so we got the yellow sundial from that one room. Let's go try to stick... I don't know what the yellow sundial does. Chris, thanks for the share. What's up, Giggity? Now, hero fuel I have in copious amounts. Definitely don't say I won a math debate. months of supportage from Brian the 2x4 enforcer stole the enforcer anyone ever ask you if your family owns Sears department store what no <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Joseph with eight months of being a blade master. Giggity Gunther, thanks a lot. I got that yellow sundial thing, but I have no idea what to do with it. Wait a second. Oh. What are you sorry about? What'd you do, John? Is there something at the bottom of that hallway, halfway open door? Yeah, it's a note. Okay, crowbar goes on that, but I don't have the crowbar. Ariel with 14 months, the crowbar looks like it's in that, that barn attic. I didn't see it, though. We'll go back and check the barn real quick. Her two with 24 cuckoo... 24 cuckoo jodging. The chicken of comp. Hey, easy, Bridget. <laughs> All right. The chicken of communism. There's got to be a bolt cutter here somewhere because this looks just like the picture. Hey, babe.
Bolt cutter. Bolt cutter. Bolt cutter. Maybe I gotta move some boxes or something, because this is definitely the place. Ace is the place for your friendly hardware store. Stupid TV jingles. That picture shows these beams. So where is... Huh. Where is the bolt cutters? I needs them. Bolt cutter. Bolt cutter. Bolt cutter. Bolt cutter. Hmm. Any ideas, League of Blades? Y'all are smart. Clayton McBean! Welcome. The Lark of Snark. You guys are still talking about the bird? Pertu with the 24. I don't know. I barely speak American. I don't. It was, uh, it was whatever language that Pertu speaks. Viking. Wogenschlagens fliegen fluken, Scotty Boo. Yes, Pertu, what you said. Wogentalken fluken, der Schlagen, Wukanta. Yes, I also like Taco Bell. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, maybe I need to go around the barn. Can't go around the barn. What the frick? There's no inventory in this game, so I don't know what I picked up. Or where it goes. The penguin of piousness. Free tacos tomorrow. Taco Bell, thanks to the World Series. Thank you, Houston Astros. I know it's 24 months per two. I'm just messing around. Lord have mercy. But what an incredible... Don't laugh at him! Wait a second, was this here earlier? Hmm. Hmm. There's a shovel. Hmm. After my parents were taken away, I ended up in an orphanage. There I found friends and it seems I became happy. The monster that lived in me calmed down and stopped appearing. I wanted to find a family that would accept me for who I really was. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm confused. All right. I don't think I think the game's broken because there's no bolt cutters in that barn. Hey, babe, wait a second. Oh. And the lock picks don't work on that door. Cause that'd be my next guess is the lock picks on the door. Cause the lock picks open the other doors. The owl of how many licks? Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of this Tootsie Pop? Okay, I didn't know we were solving a fucking puzzle. Sarah Bevis, thanks for the follow. Shut the gates down. The goat can't get in. Did I just say goat? Ten licks, Scotty. A one. A two. A three. A three. 
God! Only 99 more pieces to go. I didn't know we were doing a puzzle. But I got some eggs. And whatever that's going on there. Hello. These stupid pictures show that the bolt cutters that I need are in the attic. Is that not what you guys are seeing? The mocking Jay of mocking Scotty. Yarp, 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 yarp. Hmm. Yarp, yarp, yarp. Aha, books for kindling. I was right. Now I'm looking for stupid puzzle pieces. Unless they convinced you. I don't think the Astros cheated this time. I don't think Dusty Baker would let that ride. Don't care. Dusty Baker is a really good manager. Dusty old cars. Hmm. Fill up weed and thanks for the like. I feel like we're missing something here. So there's that note. Maybe it's a tiny hidden lunchbox. This is getting real close to not getting... Oh, a puzzle piece. Hey, Ashley. I don't have an inventory, so I can't look at the items I'm picking up. Maybe I do. Oh, photograph camera. Oh, my God. Hey, Linda. This changes everything. And nobody said the word. Was there a key on that stool? Who the hell puts a key on their poop? Ashley, welcome to the show. Now we gotta go back to the barn. We gotta take a bunch of pictures upstairs right there to find it. Kenneth Coons and James Riley, welcome. Scotty Feet Blades for President. What? Scotty Feet Blades? Scotty's Blady Feet. Is it north? Hey, Tiffany Chapman, I'm doing good. If you guys would have just said that I needed to go north of P.F. Chang's, we wouldn't have ran around for 20 minutes like an idiot. Who saw the Jets game? I didn't watch a single game of football yesterday. Did Pittsburgh win? Pittsburgh's so bad this year, I've just not watched football anymore. Right here. Boom. This game sucks. Right here. Boom. Tough acting, ten acting. This game sucks. Scotty only flannels. That's the future right there. Oh, another puzzle piece. Nice. I have no idea what this is for. I'm playing a brand new horror game called Dear, uh, no, Father's Day. 
It's from the folks that made Summer of 58. It's pretty scary. It's high on graphics and low on gameplay. Right here, maybe? You gave up on football? You're not missing anything. Right here? I imagine Scotty with blades on his feet. When I was a kid, before I got old and broke my back amateur powerlifting and uh, getting shot and stabbed a whole bunch, I used to be able to stick my feet to my face. Ah! Hi, my name is Beanie DeAndrade. You could stop at five or six doors or just one. I'm not as desperate as I thought I was. Stupid internet. Stupid internet. I did, before I knew any better, Michael, I did bite my toenails when I was a kid. I didn't know any better. Tiffany Chapman, thanks a lot. The Desperate Lady? Which... God, I hate mannequins. I hate mannequins so much. Insured your feet for profit. Nobody want, want to buy my stupid hairy feet pictures. Did you actually get shot in the field? Oh, yeah. Hey, Jesse. Oh, yeah. Here come the foot perps. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. That's creepy. You're a yoga instructor? Nice. Touch me with that foot, you cannot. That's your comment of the day, Carl? More than John Tricky's boob backwards is dude? That's the... That's the most moronic thing I have ever read in my life. And it sounds like something that I would say. And it just tickled me in the right place. Boob backwards is dude. No, it's not. It's boob again. I'm speaking unga bunga. Your mom's a yoga instructor? This is the best day ever. I try my very best to make every show the best day ever. Jesse Templeton, welcome. Thanks for the like. Not even a foot fan, but Scotty Feet, I'd pay a pretty penny. Nobody wants to see my dumb feet. They're having too much fun over on the YouTube side. I love seeing you guys cracking up with one another. It makes my day. What's booger spelt backwards? Rugob? Rigob? The hell is that? What's up, Jamie? Where did I need to use the bolt cutters at? Upstairs? Mannequins never killed anyone, so no need to fear them. Ah, uh, Michael, I got several instances of people being killed by way of mannequin. What's up, champ? AJ Hobbs, Paul Cox, Jamie Whitmer have answered the call to justice. W welcome to Boomtown Theater. Thank God that wasn't a kid, am I right? Crazy guy. They should make a pirate horror game. Um, what, Sea of Thieves has got ghosts and skeletons and stuff, but it's not really a horror game like what we like, right? Another one of these things. Nice. 
and a picture of Hall and Oates. Oh, you. You're making my dreams come true. Show up. Show me the boop. A bunch of nerd shit. And there's Hall and Oates. She's a man eater. Drop my earbud. Great game so far, Papa. Thank you for the content. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, Joshua. It's my honor, buddy. Just sing along with my whole thing. It's like a lunatic. I should have worn my brown pants today. This one's rough, Ted. This one's rough. Anyway, fell down the stairs. Boo -ba, boo -ba. Hey, Isaiah, what's up? That was Sid and Nancy before punk. I don't, I do not like punk music. God, this game's scary. Good night, Paul. Tell the Sandman I owe him a favor. I'll do that, Scotty. Hey. Thank you, Paul. Jesse Smollett, Christina, Zorilla, Connor Ellis Gunnels have answered the call of justice and joined us here in Boomtown Theater. What's this game? Well, this game is called Father's Day. It's a brand new horror game. It just came out on Steam. It's like $12.99. I believe in miracles. All I need is you. All I need is a miracle. Do you remember the game Summer of 58? Nikki? Well, this is Summer of 58. The same people that made Summer of 58 made this game. Time to break open this rusty cage. I accidentally caught my member in my zipper. See, that's why I don't wear uh, pants with zippers on them. Yoink. F in the chat for your gold member. Oh, I love gold. Oh. That game was great. Yeah, so we played Summer 58 here. It was fantastic. We played uh, Find Yourself. We found... We, my favorite game from them was Locked Up. That that game that takes place in that house where you're walking back and forth in that hallway knocking on doors and... Every game's like that. But this one, if you saw it, you'd know what I was talking about immediately. But Summer of 58 is their most famous game and it was really good too. I'm hoping this game takes off because it's pretty good. But it's, the, it's their most expensive game I've done so far. I'm from... <laughs> I'm from Holland. Isn't that weird? Smoking <laughs> oh, a pancake? Bong and a blue? Well, there's just no pleasing you. You've not played Locked Up? Locked Up's really good. Locked Up's my favorite one by them. I didn't care a whole lot for Find Yourself. It was okay. Okay, what did, I, what did I need the crowbar for? Oh, yeah, right here. The statue's gone. Good night, Pertu. Take care, buddy. We love you, man. Once again, tell the Sandman I said hello. What now?
I love you. 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 I gotta cook chicken and wash my hands like 10 times. Oh, Brianna, when I touch eggs and chicken, I wash my hands a bunch. A bunch, bunch. I will follow you. Chicken foot. Okay. Flip the switch. Ladder. Don't forget not to leave uh, after the stream, folks. We do have another segment to do today. I am playing Resident Evil Tekken Edition. And I'm going to beat the game using only the mouse and keyboard. And I'm not going to move my character. I'm, I'm going to beat the game using only WASDA. That's the only... That's the rule I have set in place to beat Tekken 1 with Resident Evil skins. Using only WASDA. The whole party's here. This guy... This guy, but a pink bunny wabbit, this thing here. Three holes. Okay. Oh, that's, it worked. Looks like the lock in the basement has opened. I didn't know that was what I was doing. Oh, there's the bone knife. The bone knife is in all of Eureka's games. You ever had venison quesadillas? I have ate a crap ton of venison, Jared, but I've never thought to put it inside of a quesadilla. I've ate a bunch of deer in my life, but never in a quesadilla. I have to do that. Holy shit. So we're playing Mortuary's Assistant? Yes, that's, that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. I said we're playing Mortuary's Assistant. Flip the switch. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Jump scare. Wasted opportunity. Wasted opportunity. Should have had a jump scare. Jason McGill and Tom Hutchinson. Welcome to the show. See you, Joseph. Take care, bud. You know, the best tacos out there are quamming tacos. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Exclamation point. Laugh emoji skeleton face. Up. Hey, Kevin Jarvis. We've played the Marvin mod, Wayne. You shush. It's my fucking show, you bitch. Anyway. Super creepy. Hey, I found the three puzzle pieces. <laughs> oh, I, I'm missing a puzzle piece. We played that game really since when? Uh, I mean, not this year, but I've played it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Scotty? Well, I've not seen it, so it didn't happen. That's not true. My friend Bigfoot. Three plus two equals three! <laughs> League of Blades math. Dim cheeks. I've not been keeping my eye open for any of these other puzzle pieces, so Lord knows where they're at. Lord knows where they're at. Koala O's. Daggone it, stupid, tiny, hard-to-see puzzle pieces. 
Oh, VHS tape, thank you. Is this, what the? Is this the famous 1995 film with Pamela Anderson? <laughs> it ain't funny, it's huge. You little creep. Put the disc in there. Betamax! Welcome back, Ian. <laughs> Senior porn? No, barbed wire, you ding -a, -ling. a child who craves parental love becomes rejected because he is not like that. I needed to help Phil to find freedom. I calmed down when Phil was safe. Oh, Phil. After the accident, Bill asked me to help him get his family back. We tried many times, but it didn't work out. And Bill only got worse. Is this Dr. Phil's origin story? I don't know, but I love Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil just says it how it is. He don't care. I respect that. I was left alone. I decided that if we couldn't get his real family back, then I could find a new one. Nobody cares. We watching Porkies. I was left alone outside. If we couldn't get his real family back, then I could find a new one, a new familia. While I was thinking about it, I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. Any minute now. One of these days we're going to pop in a VHS and it's going to be my famous movie, Mob City Boss Heat. When I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. Reminds you of the VHS from The Ring? It does, doesn't it? Come on, Phil, take care of the kid! Good night, Carl. All of my British folks are now going to the land of milk and honey. I tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life would change there, but he refused. Then I went there myself, wearing my best outfit. I wanted to amuse the children. Be amused, children! Ha 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 ha! Good lord, this cutscene's taking a long time. Or is the game over? The game might be over. Wazda. Sh shut up, who cares? His name was Peter. I can't keep up with all the names of all these people. I don't know who they are. <laughs> your subconscious is more adequate than you. Then you must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. Emma lost JJ because of you. Yes, I know who... Jonathan and JJ and Peter and Emma R. Those are all people that I have heard of this game and are familiar with. Look at all these mannequins. There's normally a clown back there. I came home from my school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Yeah, that'll happen. Get off the screen! If that's the end, then I'm going to be pissed. This has been, if this is the ending, this is the worst of all of their games. They've done way better in other places. 
<laughs> Lovely, the mana queens have bleeding eyes. <laughs> Great game. What's up, Jaboy? I'm glad you're liking it. Jaboy! John Tricky. 50 stars. Man, John, you've been on a roll today. You have been on a roll. Funny guy. There's a party in the bedroom. You know what I miss? Because I have a water bed. I miss jump... I miss jumping up and down on my water bed. Hey, we're back. I mean, I miss jumping up and down on beds. I can't jump up and down on my water bed. Let's ride that choo-choo right up the old caboose. I'm waiting all day for some heavy breathing. All right, well, I can't activate the stairs. There's my stupid diary. There's my camera. Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore? Do you be so kind? Who cares? Phil's diary, okay. A random note in my pantry. I don't need any presents. Please let us go home. We are very scarred. There are more kids here. JJ should be among them. Yeah, I know who JJ is. That's freaking shoe. That's sh that right there. That is shoe buddy. 100%. That is shoe buddy. Shoe buddy. DJ, drop that beat. Mannequin tits and hands in a sea. You better be careful get splinters on your D. They're prosthetics and not even real. Doesn't mean you can't go and cup a fill. Tall mannequin, short mannequin, bald and thick. Does it really matter because they're going to get the dick? RV campers. Period crampers. What is this? Kroger. I hear the pity patty feet. I'm coming even I got a Kroger. Oh, I needed the hook to get the thing. Whoa! That one's got freaking eyes. Ah! <laughs> that was too much. Too much. Too much. Don't give mannequins eyes. She broke her neck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, her fingers. Jesus Jones. Shoe buddy. That's also kind of a hot pose. I'm kind of here for that. That looks pretty. Uh, uh, all right, never mind. I'm, I'm here for it. That was pretty hot. Can I get a 319? Can I get a 319? This game's definitely scary. It really is. Whoa! Naked jerky man! Well, had a long day of slaying. Time to throw up my worm and see what I catch. Something wading in the water. Come to me. What is that? A drill? Electric drill? Oh, it's a Dewalt grinder. Nice. An angle grinder. The disc angle grinder is damaged. It's enough to use it once. I gotta cut my toenails. What's wrong, babe? Babe! Do you need the most healing move in all of horror entertainment? Do you need a Papa Bear hug? You know, I don't work out to keep these 21 inch pythons to look good. I work out hard so that I can hug people's pain away. Do you need a Papa Bear hug? It seems that you're presenting yourself to me. That's cool. 
Alright, well, I can't go around here. Good luck with being hot. I'm going to the trap door, I guess. You coming with? Nope. She wants a hug? Nice. Time to use this grinder. Hey, Natalie! Naked Jerky Man was my nickname in college. Cool. The disc is broken, but my heart is full. Poor sad mannequin. Don't forget, folks, if you've not done so yet, don't forget to leave your mark on the broadcast. Hi up here. Get a little bit scared for you. I gotta come all the way back down there now. My Scotty senses are tingling. There's a, there's a clown afoot. I hate clowns. I hate them so much. They smell like cotton candy and perverts. Crimson Dragon? That's a big nut. Hey, kid, get out of here. It's an evil clown afoot, I assume. Whoa, that was funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, whoa, that was funny. <laughs> whoa, oh my god, whoa. If I don't see a meme of clowns smell like cotton candies and perverts, I hate clowns. Stop honking and start running. Stop honking and start running. Am I communicating through honks? Honk twice if you're in Milwaukee. <laughs> A few hours later. Nick Torres, welcome to the show. JD. Oh, hey, kids. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the clown show. <laughs> Hi, kids. It's me. <laughs> I need to feed my new friend. Let me pre-chew this pizza, and then this kid can eat it out of my throat like some kind of gobbler of justice. <laughs> That's the noise my titties make when you squeeze them. <laughs> you finished our revelations? Is it not good, Ted? It's good, ain't it, buddy? Well, let's feed our new friend here that talks like a clown for whatever reason. Do you, do you like eggs? Give the guy some eggs. Do you like old skin pizza? He does. Let's touch it. One pizza with worms. We got some crispy breakfast cornflakes. We got a JPEG of green beans. Uh, we got an egg here. That's the perfect breakfast. Eggs and skin pizza. Would you like... I really like pizza. Well, look at that. <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, we better feed our new. Oh my god! <laughs> Would you look at that? 
<laughs> hey kids, I hope you lap one pizza. In air. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> How do you cheer up a sad clown? Take him to an orthopedic surgeon to fix his funny bone. The police are looking for a boy, 10 years old, name's JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. Bozo Blades. I like trains. Swing an axe into that clown, no kidding. Dream of squeaky noises and shoes. <laughs> Did Ted get him in a good dad joke? Way to go, Ted. Davis Morgan. Thanks for the 30 stars. How many axes in this game? Darkness comes out. I like turtle. Scotty D. Krusty. Bastard. Captain Bustard, USS Enterprise. Captain Bustard, USS Enterprise. Well, I seem to have misplaced my dresser, which is fine. You're a clown! Fazoom! There's Grandma Pecker Lips. Fazoom! Father's Day. Great film. Steve Martin. Good movie. It's taco night. Nice. I'm probably going to get Chick-fil-A tonight, I think. Zoom! Well, I can't quite see because... I got... Guilty. Guilty. Flashlight doesn't work. Well, that's good. I don't want to work anyway. Shh. You shush. It's my show. Rides, right, magician. You're making lemon pepper wings. Oh, that sounds good. Freaking couch goblin. Hey, Melvin. Shut up. For my son. You're a failure. Yeah, whatever. Says here, Ethan, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Blah, blah, hibbity jibbity joe, boo bam a fizzles. This better be barbed wire. 
the hit 1995 film with my favorite actress growing up, Pamela Anderson. Chipotle with extra protein? Damn. Eh! Play. I want to sit in a chair. Go, flashlight, go. Go, flashlight, go. Go, flashlight, go. Whoops. Ah, shit. <laughs> Low adding. Marcelo, good timing on that. For Zoom. For Zoom. I just got off of work. I thought you said you were off today, Andrew. Do you know what's going on? How did I get here? For Zoom! Mm. <laughs> the for Zoom hungers. It's locked somewhere. He hides the key. Yes. Somewhere. He hides the key. Your plan is Jonathan now? How can you tell? Somewhere he hides the key. Is it in this trash? He's on your lunch break? Well, you did say that and you said, dang, maybe I was off today. I didn't know. But man, am I glad to have you here in Boomtown Theater. That's all that matters to me. That you're here for your dose of fun, okay? That you're here for your dose of fun and laughter and horror? Lock it! Lock it! Lock it! Lock it! Lock it! Lock it! Lock the door! Lock it! Get it locked! Lock it up! Lock it good! Lock it real good! All right, clowns, time for you to catch a case of fuck around and find out. Let's see if you laugh and I'm kicking you in your dangle nads. <laughs> eh, it was just my imagination. That's not. Hey, man, you look a little famished. You want some breakfast? The Zoom! Strong looking spine you got there. Bet you can lift a lot of weight. It's Monday. Well, good luck, buddy. I hope you don't die. Or whatever. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll forget you, guy. I mean, I won't forget you, guy. Hello, Bobby Graves. Can I use that 2 by 4 Oh, what's this? Screwdriver! Did you just... Did you just bail through the vent? Well, we're doomed. We're doomed. D-O-O. -O. There's a passage behind the wall. Man, I'm smart. I'm the smartest. Huge smart. Oh, I'm so smart! Jeff Royal and Bobby Graves, welcome to the Scotty Blade Show. So smart. Can someone spot me a 20 so you can buy a bad game? Hal and Dylan say hi. Hey, Hal. Hey, Dylan. What's up? Yoink. Yoink. Locked. I need a key. Okay, let's go back. Let's spin off the steam. No more. No more steam. Hey. 
let off some steam, Bennett. Arnold says that with such anger. Let off some steam, Bennett. Let off some steam, Bennett. What is that? Oh, it's a kid's room. The audacity! Sledge. I wanna be your ha! Your sledgehammer. Don't wanna go, my name. Scotty's way steamier than that Bennett guy. <laughs> Even though I may be steamier, I don't let no pipes get laid in me, I tell you that much. Krakatoa. Fuck this shit. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Rival schools and Discord later tonight? Hey, everybody's invited to hang out with Davis in our Discord tonight if you want to. I won't be able to make it, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll sneak in there. Lay pipes. <laughs> This looks like a normal... Did you guys see? Did you know that they were messing around with Benjamin Franklin's house in Europe? And they found underground, buried at Benjamin Franklin's house in Europe two dozen, more than two dozen bodies in a secret cemented location below Benjamin Franklin's house 20 two dozen bot two more than more than two dozen bodies what's that about yummy here you will need a step ladder to climb. No, I don't. The keys are right here. Benji killing the competition. I can now open the box, which is in the pantry. Okay. Apparently, I didn't need that step ladder after all. Back to the pantry. What is this, Wikipedia? Shut up, Chris. <laughs> I heard he liked the women of the night. My initial thought also, Brian, when I heard that was maybe Benjamin Franklin is Jack the Ripper. That was also my initial thought. Jack the Ripper. It was 1,200 bones from roughly 15 bodies, Scotty. Thank you, Daniel. Did you watch Good Boy Noah's cooking videos? I've never even heard of Good Boy Noah. But I will now. Yeah, it, it was. Daniel, I just wanted people to speculate for a minute. I didn't want to... Come on, Daniel was trying to have fun with it. I wanted people to speculate as to why he had so many bodies. It was for anatomy research, but still. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Let him have fun for a little bit. Come on. Hmm. Poor Richard the Ripper. Nick Cody is the team. And 15 bodies. <laughs> Four whores and 15 bodies ago, the country of America was founded upon my killer instincts and copious amounts of bodies <laughs> that I stacked in my foundation. 
because when humans decay, they become fine glue. Dilly dilly, fine, fine glue. You know, a body count is high when there's a rough estimation. Well, according to Daniel, it's a very specific and, and a very specific number. Lord forbid we have a little fun around here. I fell. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I gotta lay some pipe or something. The secret sex dungeon? That is crazy. Yeah, you, hey fairy. Was he Jack the Ripper? No, everybody was right. Robin said medical research. They're, they're all right. Basically, the kind of research that he was doing was frowned upon back in the olden days, like anatomy research and bodies and stuff like that. But he wasn't doing anything for nefarious activities. He had a he was a mentor of a guy who was like one of the leading people in the field of human research and they needed bodies. Oh my god. Ew. They needed bodies to, to work on that scientific research stuff, so they would hire folks to go out and grave dig, basically. Grave digger, won't you dig my grave? Won't you make it shallow so that I can feel the rain? Grave digger, hey Jason. Little Susie, Sally Sue, 1950 to 1954. Rode like her, rode her bike like the devil since the day she was born. Oh, there's a step left. He was Dr. Frankenstein? Hell, he might have been. See, it's that kind of story. I would immediately, in in the realm of um, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, I immediately go to Benjamin Franklin Frankenstein. Benjamin Franklin Stein. Because, you know, he harnessed the electricity on his kite with the key. Benjamin Franklin Stein. Lightning. He was trying to get lightning to supersurge Franklin Stein. We got ourselves a movie, folks. Benjamin Franklin Stein. What's up, Brian? We got ourselves a movie. Franklin Stein. Yep. We got ourselves a movie. See? I want to keep this in-house chat. The League of Blades needs to make a movie called Frankenstein. Ain't that awesome, Madison? Scott Herbert. Benjamin Frankfurter. Chris. The League of Blades presents Dr. Frankenstein. 100. Because again, I'm the host of the Scotty Blade Show. The League of Blades is the co-host. Blade Walker Productions. You all are Blade Walker Productions. So, the League of Blades presents Dr. Franklinstein. Blade Walker Productions presents. Okay. Starring two cousins. Shut up, Ralph. <laughs> two cousins. <laughs> Star starring two cousins. <laughs> hey, Night Shroud. <laughs> fairy good to see you fairy nick cody sistina gray dan piff jason sodden john c riley is benjamin franklin and will farrell is franklin stein that's the perfect casting john c riley benjamin franklin will farrell franklin stein the founding father of monsters what's the pay uh it's a it's a uh a self-produced project, an in-house. Boomtown, Th yeah, Blade Walker Productions, directed by Scotty Moranis. About tree fitting. 3,000 blade bucks. 
You can all have ballpark Franklinsteins later. Good lord. <laughs> My Scotty senses are tingling once again. I believe we're. I need a flashlight to go with this. All right, we'll grab it. Scotty, do you want to hear a joke? Why does golfers wear? You spelled wear wrong. Why do golfers wear two pairs of pants? Because they might make a hole. <laughs> God. I hope somebody clips Scotty saying the League of Blades is part owner of the idea. You're not part owner. I made it all up. What? Take the bell to save progress. Where's this been for the past hour? Three hours. that over there yeah somebody was walking in the background that's his plan pharmacist for ideas you found out my diabolical scheme Daniel I'm not here to make you laugh and smile and give us all a place to escape no I'm here to farm you all for ideas for my own diabolical schemes you got it way to go Oh, he went back. What a mallet that clown's got. The better to bunk you with, poopy. Which way are you going, dude? I'm on patrol. I'm on patrol. Where am I going? Are you kidding me? There's not enough details. I don't I mean I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to be leaving? Saves the game, right? Pick a horse to ride on? I wish I could. I have a knife now. My back at the beginning. What the hell? Yeah, so this the all these games are connected, Lisa. Betty Justice raising her boomstick. I love your profile pic, by the way, Betty. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> I got honked to death. Betty Justice ten dollar. 
Super Chat. What an absolute superstar that you are. Thank you so very much, Betty, for the $10 Super Chat. Real recognize real, and that was an absolutely heroic performance. This game's starting to bore me a little bit. <laughs> it had me, and now it's losing me. Thank you very much, Betty, for the $10 Super Chat. Hmm. What would Scotty Moranis do if he was here right now? He'd probably throw a fish or two. Why a fish? Can I stab him with a knife? I'll say, yeah, so David, all these games are connected. Uh, coin? Somebody mentioned that earlier. We've been here before. We have been here before. The This is the prequel to the game Find Yourself. And the game Find Yourself had this very clown in this very part following us around. So you guys are absolutely right in thinking you've seen this place before. Scott is the best entertainer. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try real, real hard to put on a hell of a show. Hey, babe. I don't know what this goes to. Oh, the, the machine. What's the connection? I don't know. There's supposedly a story going on in this game, but I don't know what it is. Jonathan and uh, Peter and Phil and all these names. I don't know who they are. Boy, he's fast. Are we the clown now? At one point, we were the clown. Remember when we were feeding the kid when he was in the attic? So at one point, we were this clown right here. I think the clown's name is either Jonathan or Phil, one of the two. I think Phil might be the clown. But why is that important? I don't know. I'm Jonathan now? Okay. Did I trick him? Did I trick him? Did I get him? I think I got him. Yoink. Okay. What? There's another piece somewhere. Oh, the handle. 
Okay, so we need that piece, we need the coins, and it looks like we need a handle somewhere. So there's another something we gotta find out here. Hmm. Well, this sucks. There's another chest that we missed. Nothing down there. Nothing back there. He just got a Scooby-Doo villain feel to him. This war I saw another mannequin. Yeah, he's stuck, so this is perfect. Me very happy. Pretzel dog. Hmm. He's not stuck no more! Soda pop. Maybe the change goes in the soda pop machine? What y'all think? Welcome back, Chris. Yeah, baby! Woo! Not my first rodeo. Time to go play on the slut machine. Don't mind if I do. Save the game. Very smart. Super smart. Worth a shot. Absolutely. And I got no way if it too if it wasn't for you pesky League of Blades. Y'all have been on fire today. Very funny. Finger bangs all around. Son of a bitch. You had me up for all like two minutes. What happened? Did you get kicked out? What's up, Kate? Ah! <laughs> God, my Scotty senses are tingling. This game's got it all. We're talking mannequins. I about said mannequins wrong. We're talking about mannequins. We're talking about... Production, what was the other thing I needed to talk about? Clowns! What else we got? What else is in the game? Production? No, not a small amount of peas. Not Benjamin Franklin Stein, which by the way, I don't care what Daniel O'Reilly says, I'm absolutely taking credit for Benjamin Franklin Stein. That was my idea, Daniel. Hey mods, we get rid of the free girls in your city. What well, they actually pronounced it wrong. They said free girls in you city. Free girls in you city. <laughs> Boobs backwards is dudes. Oh. <laughs> Maybe if I get down to this guy's level and communicate to him the way he communicates to me. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Dolls, which is kind of mannequins. What was the five pillars of fear? Grandpa's? I mean, grandparents, rabbits, mannequins and or dolls, children. What was the fifth pillar of fear? Antlers? No, it wasn't antlers. <laughs> this guy's stuck. Trail of blood? The Red River, you're right about that. Gas prices? Shut up, John! <laughs> Gas prices, you idiot! <laughs> Gas prices, the ocean? Maybe it was ocean. Gas prices! <laughs> Jesus, Jones. Ugh, alright. Let's play sluts. Sluts. Come on, big money, no whammies. This is why I don't gamble. Come on, big money, no whammies. I did it. I 
I don't remember. Now I can open the locked door in the basement. I didn't know there was a locked door in the basement. Where am I? Who am I? Who are any of you? Fazoom! I can't remember what the... I cannot remember what the five are, Katie. I used to say them every day, and now I can't remember them. Children was one of them, yeah. Children, grandparents, rabbits, mannequins. A pair of Sunday boys trousers. Oh, we gotta go back where the dude with the spines at. Okay, I got you. Was that always there? Was that always there? Were the balloons always there? I better save just in case. And we can't save. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't wood. Children, grandparents, rabbits, mannequins, and clowns. That's it, bro. I got Kate cracking up out there. No, it ain't birds. Why would I be afraid of birds? I just hate birds. Yeah, I did spill some by accident. Yeah. I'm high as balls. Well, I'm Scotty Blades. How's it doing, high as balls? That scared you to death? Yeah, that was pretty scary. Did you accidentally... Hey, what's up, Ryan? Pour water on your pants to hide the fear fear pee. No, I didn't mean to do that. That was just an accident. Sometimes accidents happen. Accidents happen. So I felt like the biggest asshole. Felt like the biggest asshole when I killed your rock and roll. Name that song and name that band. Okay. Get out of the way, you stupid people! Okay. This game sucks. I hate to tell you this, but Frankenstein is already a thing. Just a quick Google search gave me Ben Franklin discovered electricity. Now he runs on it. Let's do a real quick Google search of Ted Wilbur. Says here, Ted Wilbur's a party pooper. Open up! 
<laughs> it says absolutely nothing. That's not true. It says Ted Wilbur, Elder Statesman of the League of Blades. I got Kate cracking up. We're doing a good job. This is why you do research, Scotty. Daniel, let me rebuttal your research with this. Yeah, Ted Gorsh. <laughs> Ooh, we, uh, there's another JPEG of green beans. Oh, man, there's a lot of bottles of beer in here. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. JPEG of green beans, my dear. Good night, Vix. Tell the Sandman I said hi. <laughs> Julia Harrison, thanks for the like. That was not me stress queefing. That was the metal grate moving because of the screwdriver. Any minute now, I'm going to come out the other side of this hole. A bigger and better, more bearded man. Da boop da, zoom on them boop does. Little, a little, a little booby peck never hurt anybody. Ah, a little booby peck for good luck. Krober. Okay. Stress queef. If I had a nickel for every time I stress queef. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my TED Talk. Well, now that I've broke gas and broke the ice here, can I interest you in my new project, Locos Doritos? You've got cool flavor because that's the number one rule of the League of Blades is always be cool. You can taste cool now. We got chili spicy, we got very cheesy, and then we have barely salted. Barely salted. I think I might have killed somebody by accident. We got some nutty hazelnut spread and some a bag of sugar. You know. We got some original nip, nip naples. We got some boom tarts. Some oatmeal. Uh, what is that? Sweet corn? A, a jar of mayonnaise? It's, it's all presentation. Eric Anderson! With the 100 closets. 100 stars. Thank you very much, Eric. For that star performance. I'm Salty AF. Wow. Quick production. What does AF mean? Apple fudge. Hey man, what's up? I'm here to help you. You ready to go home, kid? Okay, let's go. Seems you're locked in there. Go figure. Maybe I can wear this cowboy hat. Maybe... Well, at least they gave you toys and stuff. I mean, it's not that bad. Where's that crowbar at? There it is. Yoink that. Uh, trying to yoink. Trying real hard to yoink. Trying real hard to yoink. Absolutely funny. Can somebody help me yoink, please? Uh, you want some peanut butter? AF backwards is boobs. Interior flipper. AF backwards is boobs. Alright, kid. Well, listen. I don't know how I'm going to get you out of there, but... Uh, good luck. Oh, here's the keys. <laughs> Never mind. The keys was right behind me. Let's ride. Thank you, Eric, once again, buddy, for the 100 star. Thanks for being one of my heroes. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that he was a pumpkin eater. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. Maybe I should try again. I'm sure I can find them. Is this game still going? I lost interest in this game an hour ago. Smokey and the Bandit? That's AF? 
Right now, it's not necessary. We are at an impasse. Phil is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that dot dot dot. Otherwise, let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Okay. Let's do it! Let's start that system, baby! I hope it's a good one. Low adding. Low adding. Act number nine. Some places never let go. I'll never let you go, League of Blades. Ever. I'm back in my bathroom again. I left myself a note. Stop shitting in the floor. There's a toilet right there. That boy, his name was Peter. Was special. That boy, his name was of Peter, was special. I would never hurt him. He was lonely like me. The man he called his father was a monster. Okay. This is this. Whatever, man. Best game ever. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. You all, you all know what's going on. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. I don't need story in my horror game. Just scare the shit out of me and shut up. Oh, newspaper. Who cares? Flashlight. The flashlight doesn't work! Well, why do you keep giving it to me? More Brooks! Photographs! Down the steps I go! Boo, 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 boo. Good, nothing's... My order has arrived. Fantastic. Now I gotta go all the way back up the steps. Good times. I'm coming. What am I do... What I'm doing is not real. There is no time machine. But where is the reality in which everyone is happy? I'm confused. I hate stories. That's what I said. I'm not going to read this nerd shit. Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. He'll be alright. He moved the bodies many times trying to hide them. Eventually they were found on the territory of Benjamin Franklin's house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. kind of does, Tim. During the investigation, the pilot project, Golden Egg, was involved. Thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. Have you played Street Fighter V? I have. I love all the Street Fighters. In the Golden Egg, we discovered that Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disorder. His mind divided into two different people. Careful, everyone. It's been like four hours and Scotty hasn't slayed anything. Hide the cats and keyboards.
Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children were hidden. He couldn't fix his mistake, but he had to help those familias. Throw John out the window. That was about a 5 out of 10. That was the game Father's Day. And you can pick that game up uh, on Steam if you want to. $12. Uh, that's, I have no idea what was going on. I have no idea what they're talking about. I have no idea who any of the characters were. And I've played all the games and I still don't know what they're talking about. Uh, um, but the jump scares were really good. The graphics were good. And, um, it was fine. Whatever. Now, here's a blast from the past. I am going to beat Tekken 1 with Resident Evil skins only using wasda i am not actually going to move my character any in this playthrough and that's how i'm going to beat the game <laughs> so we'll see if this works play galaga there will be a little bit of audio tearing because this is an old ps1 game Hi Hachi will cheat you out. Is this not a blast from the past, baby? This is my childhood right here. I played hundreds of hours of Tekken. John Tricky with the 350. That's cowboy time. If you guys read my top 10 games of all time, the Tekken 2 was in my top 10 games of all time. I love Tekken. Uh Well, that kind of spoiled the big reveal, didn't it? Damn it. Work. Oh shit. There we go. Yeah, I played I played a lot more Tekken 2 than I played Tekken 1. We're going to play as Law, and again, I'm playing a fighting game on mouse and keyboard. I am not going to move my character. I am only going to move Yeah, it was 80/20. Paul Redfield. I'm not going to move my character because I don't have a controller. I can... Oops. All right, here we go. I can only use Wazda. Round one. Fight. I'm getting my ass kicked. Ah! I'm not sure who Yochimishi is supposed to be. Woo! Back! Come back! I don't know who Yusumichi is supposed to be, but there's Marvin. You win. No! Ah! Round two. Fight. Liga Blaze, who is Yoshimichi supposed to be? Ow, ow, ow. Ow. With a mouse and keyboard, man! I can't even move my character! Wahoo! Law versus King. What the frick? 
Oh my god! He drop kicked me. Sorry for the audio, Taryn. Ah! The king's kicking my ass! Uh. Ah! He's supposed to be Steve? Who? Oh, that's the Titan! He's the Titan! He's the Titan from RE1. Ah! I'm only pushing three controllers, Master Shredder. You win. Ooh, ah! Final round. Fight. Oh, baby! Oh my oof! Sorry for the auto Taryn. Yes! <laughs> Massive keyboard, baby! You win. Ninja from Metal Gear Solid. Why is he the ninja though? Round one. Five Who's that chat? Yeah. Yes! Ah! No! No! It is Yosumishi, but I don't know who he is in Resident Evil. King never guards low. Well, I can't push down on low because I'm using mouse and keyboard. I know I keep using the same moves, but... I can't... It's, like, it's not like I can do combos. I'm using mouse and keyboard. Eh. Yes! It is Wesky Pesky. You win. Is this a nod to Wesker? It is. Woo Who's Michelle gonna be? One. Hey, is that is that clear? Uh. Once again, sorry for the audio, Taryn. Oh! It comes and goes. Ah shit! Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> He's supposed to be Wesker, yeah. Round two. Fight. Oh shit. Johnny Bravo. How cool is this, though? Shit! Shit! Well, I didn't do bad for mouse and keyboard. You lose. You lose. Round one. Fight. Oh shit! Sorry for the audio turn. Would you stop kicking me? I, I only got two moves! God! Round two. Fight. <laughs> that was lucky. Jam it! Oh shit! No! You lose. It might be clear, but she's got Scotty's biceps. Round one. Fight. God! Ah! Oh! Come on, Marvin, get in there. Sorry for the auto tear. 
Nice. Damn, we was on a we was on a roll there. I let Claire whoop my ass. You lose. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Whoa! So You win. They've really upgraded RE villages. I think Lady D's in this game. I'm not sure what all characters they got. Ah. She's kicking my ass. You know how hard it is to play? You know how hard it is to play a fighting game on mouse and keyboard? It's hard. And we're actually pretty far. Whoops. Shit. I seem to be in a different kind of view. What view am I in? What view am I in? Whatever it's doing is working. Ah! It stopped working. Shoo! Round two. I don't know why this this oh j Jesus Final Round Fight Ah See ya. Oh, come on! Ah. Oh! No! I blocked it! No, that missed! Oh my god! That missed! Press all the buttons. I'm trying. God, I, I, I don't know why I keep changing the, the view. Woo! I'd kick your ass if I knew what the buttons were. Oh boy. That final you kick looked desperate. I don't know. I, I'm pushing Wazda. That's all I know how to use. I can't do any of my combos. I have no idea how I did that. I don't know how I keep changing. I'm only pushing Wazda. Oh, I didn't know that was even a button. No! <laughs> you lose. Continue. What a turn of events. Waz to her face. <laughs> Waz to her face. It's about time. I'm playing on fucking mouse and keyboard. Round two. Round two. Fight. I can't block. I can't do anything. Uh-oh. You win. You did it, Marvin. Everybody remembers Marvin's famous line, hoo uh, who's this guy? Thank you for. Owie! Ah! Uh. No! No, I'm pushing the wrong button! Oh, I had him! No! I was pushing the cat's button and not Wazda. Did you know he's playing on mouse and keyboard? That's it. 
I'm not really sure who he's supposed to be, his skin is. Round two. You lose. Continue. Round one. The challenge was to beat this only using the keep the Wazda controls, but I'm just not gonna mention it anymore. Nina. There's Claire again. Sorry for the auto turn. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Jesus! When did Claire learn that move? All I gotta do to beat me is just butt duck, because I can't duck. Mutated Birkin? Round two. Fight. <laughs> Yeah, just duck. That's the best way to. I can't. I can't punch down. Oh. Oh. Uh. Is this not the freaking coolest thing in the world? We're playing Tekken with Resident Evil skins. This is the coolest thing in the world. Looks like a playing controller. That'd be awesome. Uh. You don't. Button mashing is the epitome of bumbling. It is. Marvin's famous line, hoo wah. Hoo wah! Ah! Ah! She's pissed. She's pissed. She's pissed! She's pissed! She's pissed! Good morning. You lose. Continue. Is Lee Melvin? He's Marvin. Round one. Fight. See, I can only use Wazda. Ow! She got a perfect back on me. John Tricky with the 50 stars. Thank you. You lose. Round two. Fight. 
Owie! Girl's kicking my butt. <laughs> oh, how the hell? Ah! Oh! Stupid flipping flopper! You lose. You lose. You're a loser. Whoa, how'd I do that? Oh, if you push W twice, it also moves him. W is also move forward? This game's... Ah! You bitch! <laughs> well, oh, come on! W is also move forward! Chris did teach you to fight well. So W is also move forward. That sucks. Ow! Bitch. Uh, is this Mortuary's assistant? Round two. Fight. So S, if you push S twice, then it makes you you makes you go down. So the ah! the frick was that? That was awesome. A nod to biohazard. Oh yeah. So if I push A twice, then I can block. Huh. I said push A twice. Yeah. Round two. I said push A twice to block. Ah. It didn't work. Another paralyzer. Is this Street Fighter? <laughs> I'm about to go to the mortuary. So if I push W twice, then I can go forward. Push push down on S twice. Shit. Push A. Oh, that didn't work. X. Uh, S. Round two. Fight. It's so hard. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh! Oh! Kick her in the fucking face. Oh! Finger bangs for the bumbling keyboard machine, baby. Who's Paul going to be? Oh, he's... Who is that, chat? Whoop, whoop. Oh, Chris is kicking my ass. Chris! You <laughs> lose. Yeah, everybody remembers Chris's haircut. Fight. Oh! Oh! Bitch! A! A! Push A! Ah! <laughs> Take that! Ah. That's Code Veronica, Chris. Stop dodging my shit! Oh, if you push D twice, then it's the pause button. Well, that sucks. Fuck you, buddy! I just laid him down. That didn't do anything. Oh, juggling! Oh, we were juggling! Two. 
Up. 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 Nice try, Chris. Oh, Jesus. Help. Juggling. Every day we're juggling. Double Ds. Double Ds. Double Ds. Double Ds. Double Ds. I just kept hitting the D button. Yes. Wang. Who's Wang? Oh, it's Barry. Barry hit me in the nuts. Barry, that wasn't very cool of you. Oh, that sounds just like Barry. Whoa, Barry's fast. Wazda. Wazda. Fuck you, Barry. <laughs> Barry! Barry! Owie! D twice! D twice! Hayachi should be Barry. Sorry for the audio tear. D twice! D twice! Oh! Oh shit! If you push W twice, then it pauses the game. Jesus! Round two. Freaking Barry's kicking my ass! Oh! <laughs> Final round. This is my ultimate move. Punch you in the face. Ow, oh, shit. Oh. Punch that old man in the face. Ah! Use the cutting edge. Barry. Barry Wayne. You lose. Round one. Fuck you, Barry! Did you stop? <laughs> My sciatica! Oh shit! Barry! 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 God! Round two. Oh! Why are uh. you lose? Continue round one. No, Ashley. Be sure to tell him that I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. You remember? I can only use Wazda. Shit! Round two. Oh! Barry's wearing me out. God bless! Barry, I can only use Wazda! You asshole. Stop ducking, I can't hit low. <laughs> Loser! You jerk, I can't hit low. Beat this Wayne. Stop doing that! The game knows. No! Oh crap! <laughs> I've, if you spam S, then he'll stand down. Stop punching me in the face, Barry! Oh! You lose. Cut round one. Fight. Take that, old man, you asshole. No! No! No!
if you hit W three times, it takes you back to the beginning. Well, shit. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, and we lost Round one. all of that progress. Wow. We lost a lot of progress there. Well, my heart is hurt now for all the progress we lost, and that's going to do it for today's Scotty Blade Show. A lot of folks are taking off anyway because they don't want to see Tekken. So that's it. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Uh, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Don't forget to follow us on both Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I'm everywhere, baby. I'm everywhere. I'm all knowing, all being, all. Shut up, video you game. Lose. You lose. Round two. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll be back tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Get, 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 get. There it goes.